Welcome, everybody, to the Voice Chat Podcast, episode 46. My name is Maz from the Amazing. I'm Laddie. I'm Rush Latin Veda. I'm Emily from Emirichu. I'm Reagan from Your Worst Nightmares. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. You know what to say. Did I say a YouTube name, Reagan? You don't wanna you don't wanna say that loud. When have I ever said my YouTube name on I just podcast? want you to say it once out loud. That's it. That's all I want. <laughs> uh my YouTube is redacted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and before we begin, I just want to give a major shout out to the patrons, especially Pax, Storyteller25, Abs, Andrew Ong, Dr. Crazy Diablo, Gabriel, Iron Bat, and the Blep. Thank you so much for all of y'all's support, especially all the patrons, because y'all can also watch every single voice chat podcast episode a week early if you are a patron. So make sure to subscribe as a patron or a channel member to get early access and live stream privileges as well. So sexy. I also want to give a special shout out to the fan art over here. Speaking about sexy, very sexy over here. Okay. Look at, look at All right. Now, nice. with that being said, welcome Emily and Reagan to the podcast. Hi. Welcome. Hi. It's been a it's been a while since both of y'all appeared. Um, I, I own this like, podcast. No. What? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we actually that's it. Then Reagan's taking over the podcast now. <laughs> She's the ghost writer. writer. <laughs> I'm like the Viacom, ghost writer, but not as cool. I, the Viacom's not cool. Hold on, I take that back. I'm like Viacom, but not as rich. Didn't wow. Oh. <laughs> Reagan, I, that was a self diss on multiple of parts there. That yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> well, Viacom wants to make a show with you, and now you just ruined your relationship. What the heck, bro? Damn it. <laughs> They're going to know wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. What? Why? Viacom's making a show with you, Reagan? No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry. I, 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 it you went know? right over my head. It went right over my head. I'm sorry. I, I was like, wait a minute. Rush. Wait, there's a show with Reagan yeah. and Viacom? I was like, yeah. really, you know. It's the Reagan Viacom show. Yeah. Wrong network, yeah. wrong, Maz, wrong network. Reagan square pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear pants, it's fake as hell. Uh, Reagan yeah, fake you, pants. You and, there we go, yeah, that works. Yeah, you and PJ, yeah, yeah. you and PJ, we got it, the pants of squad. Wait, yeah. you said wrong network, Reagan, you got a show going on? You little oh, kinky? uh. Hinting, not hinting? not officially. Uh, I've got Ooh. I've got a pitch I'm working on. Eee. Is this what you were showing us earlier with the little gem characters? That's for the pitch. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, there are mm. these magical girl characters. Actually, oh, it's actually so funny that this is the podcast that it gets brought up on. I've been working on the pitch for a while. Um, it came out of a video initially that I made with Emily. Uh, we Ooh. collabed on a video about Tokyo Mew Mew, and I was talking about how. I made these characters that were like really shitty uh, Tokyo Mew Mew ripoffs forever ago. And just as a fun follow up video, because people liked it, I made like redesigns of the characters and it was supposed to be just a one off. And then I hyper fixated on them. And now it's I'm, I'm working on turning it into a full story. I'm seeing if I can pitch it to somewhere. Oh my uh, seeing if I can get a pilot made. Ooh, that's it's so, so cute. cute. So. Again, I'm not going to ask for the pitch here. I, I know you want to keep it under wraps for your pitch. For of your course, pitch. of course. Now, is this a solo pitch or is this part of the studio that you've been crafting behind the scenes? Like, what's I, the deal? So this, uh, this one's just me because this opportunity came more out of me having a YouTube channel than me yes. having a studio. Uh, right. My studio is working on a project, but I am learning very quickly that that is exceedingly hard to manage at the same time as having a YouTube channel and mm -hmm. also doing comics and also making pitches for other things. Uh, yes. It, life's, life's going in a lot of interesting directions. directions. Lots of yeah. Lots of opportunities at the door. Extremely overwhelming. Extremely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't say no to anything. So I just have a million things to do at any given point in time. So how did this come about? Like the little pitch? Like did somebody just email you saying, hey, love your channel. Uh, Ginger Ninja. Oh, well, really fan. Really <laughs> big fan. Um, I would like you to submit a pitch. Like is that like how did that come about? I'm not exactly sure how much I can say about it. I'm not okay, sure. Okay, yep, sure, sure. All I'm good, not all sure good. if there's anything that I can't say about it in particular. Mm -hmm. It's just... Uh, Someone that I work with uh, messaged me and just right. basically, hey, um, 
an old an old connection actually who works at our company uh and by old connection i mean someone who i used to work with before uh he he remembered me and he wanted to talk about me and it, it, i didn't actually realize it was a pitch at first it was um they said he just wants to to talk about your your channel and your career and i went oh cool like it was uh, real cool that he remembers me uh and we all got on call and he was telling me about how he's really proud that uh, my channel's come so far and the work I'm doing as an animator. And he's like, well, do you have ideas for bigger things? I'm like, yeah, I've got some ideas. And he says, well, you know, you should like brainstorm a few things and come back and, you know, we can just talk about it. I was given the idea that what was happening was like that I was just given that, that basically they believed in me enough that they're like, let's just practice together, you know, to, to build me up for opportunities later. And the, the more meetings I had with them, the more I slowly started to realize. And I don't even think I started to realize. I think it was, it was changing directions from just sitting down and having like fun little brainstorm sessions of hypothetical situations to know this is an actual legitimate pitch that we would like you to present to us. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You got bamboozled. Yeah. Mm. In, in you the got, foolish you, way. You somehow got tricked into a really cool opportunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know if that's, yeah, that's a, that's not a good, that's a very good bamboozle, man. I'll take that. <laughs> Basically, yeah, that was like, it was a really cool bait and switch. I actually initially, um, I had a series that I like had in the back of my mind for a while that was supposed to be about monsters. And I was gonna like work with that with them initially because I thought that what we were doing was just, oh, we are hypothetically like, if I were to build a pitch, they were going to help me learn how to build a pitch. And then it yeah. turned into, no, we don't want to see anything about it until you're ready to pitch it to us. And I realized I have, I am not nearly close enough to finish with anything from this story that I wanted to make. But I had been so fixated on doing little Magical Girl videos on my channel that I was like, I have enough ideas here that I could get this ball rolling. So now I go out and I walk for like three hours a day and I listen to music and plan music videos in my head and go, that would be a cool plot point. I love it. Mm. I love that. Thank that energy you. is so bloody nice. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, can we can we talk about like the collab that idea that you, or is that like not is Oh know. yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh Reagan, I, I know I can tell how obsessed you are with the magical girl because <laughs> Emily, uh, as well, Emily released her video actually. It's the Childhood Crushes three, four, yes, three, three, yeah, three, right? With uh, with Reagan, myself, Sultan, and it was so that video was a result of all of our shenanigans. And then all three, all, all of us were like, we should do an idea with the three, the remaining members, right? So that was Emily's channel's idea, right? Um, Reagan's idea was like the was really dope it was a dnd with magical girls so all of us are magical girls we come up with characters and their backstory and i think reagan you might have you wanted it to be very brief but i wrote an essay i, I wrote like the entire <laughs> i wanted character. time i loved your character background hell yeah i love it i was have, I, I wanted it to be brief or so my character it was honestly my friend like it was just meant to be like hey octagon it'd be funny if i made her name Claire Octagon, so her initials are Coctagon. That's it. That was the entire... Very funny. Very yeah, right? funny. That was the... And then I actually wrote a decent backstory for her. I'm like, oh, crap. This is... I'm, I'm serious about this. Like, I love her. I love her. Is this how OCs start? Because I love her, and I want nothing but the best for her. You, you went know? down a dangerous drain right there. I love how different then... our characters are backstory-wise. I know. I know, Emily. I'm so excited because your backstory intersects with, like, Claire's, and, like, I'm really excited to see how our characters interact. I'm really, <laughs> like, more excited than I thought I would be for a D&D magic girl. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the the preparation I've been doing for this, because just for the, the audience's uh, context, it is specifically the magical girl is supposed to be D&D &D in my story universe. So it's like hand in hand together. Uh, and it was mm -hmm. supposed to be like this animatic of our campaign, which is probably going to end up being like t two hours long. Like, God, but um, I, I've never actually DM'd before. And because I'm doing uh, my magical girls instead of picking up like a uh, 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 someone else's homebrew like Madoka Magica D and D. Uh, I have to to figure out all the mechanics by hand, and I've never just D and D regular D and D before. Mm -hmm. So I recently got three friends together, and I had them make characters like the day before. Uh, 
they name initially they wanted to name all of their characters after someone who sent me a really creepy dm and they decided to be a bard <laughs> boyd band and they were all named after him and i was like stop that but now that's their ancestors and they're connected through them and we've had like three d uh three sessions that i did out of a book and it is it is absolutely wild for one thing i have a tendency when i try and do npc voices they all just sound like pirates uh, the very first session we did, they just walked away from the final boss. Didn't expect that to happen. Uh, <laughs> the second one we did, they they completely went off book and changed the ending. And now I have to to write homebrew completely from the sessions after that because of where they went from. It's I'm glad that I was doing this so that I, I know what to prepare for with this session with you guys, especially with how high energy I know uh, our little our little team is going to be. I can't wait for it. I I'm know, like, really excited. Reading. I've been reading like all Emily and Reagan and Salt, like everyone's like backstories, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad because I'm already gonna have to make you guys like change this the stat it. system because whatever I picked before, I have no fucking clue how to work with that. Oh, that's but fine. That's okay. We're, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna draw some it. magical girl designs. We're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go stupid. Gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. Ah, ah let's do it. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> We're gonna call it D and D, and the title is clickbait. And then in the video, say it's not D and D, so people don't yell at me for doing it wrong. It's all good. I I love Magical it because girl, uh, <laughs> not. it. It's last week we uh, had Joe Cat and Dingo Doodles like D and D experts, right? Like mm -hmm. onto the podcast. And I didn't realize, Rush, you had no idea what what D and D. No idea. No idea. <laughs> That's so funny. I, just, like, I what, had what? one idea that I thought was cool, and then never what? went on it. What? Okay. What lost you? You said you were lost because we were getting too complicated. I didn't think we were getting like, too complicated. We were like, talking that deep in, Yeah, into I was it. just like, I don't know what I'm gonna say here. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what to bring up. We talk, we talk about a bard, and Ed Rush is like, oh, what well, bard? What's, a what? What, what's, the, what's, the, what's the bard? <laughs> I played Fable. I know what a bard is. <laughs> Wait, listen, D, like we'll we'll sit you down and play D and D with you one day, man. Do I it. Mean, yeah. Like, everybody needs to have like, I think D and D used to be really really uncool, but now it's like back into being cool. You know, it's rad. Huh? I mean, What's I'm sure the, back yeah. when it was like uncool, it was still just as fun to play. And yeah. Now yeah. People are realizing, oh, this wasn't ever actually uncool. We were just being bitches. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it's actually have playing. a video planned about yeah. one of my really old D and D characters because <sighs> I weird. hardly, I I hardly ever make OCs. Like even as a kid, I didn't really make them very much. Mm. So I'm, I'm attached characters. to this one, so I'm excited. But I'm a little Ooh, scared. Yeah. I'm scared of like, like a uh, I don't know if they're a thing, but I feel like they would be. Are there like D and D purists? Yes. Yes, ah, there yeah. are. Yeah, there are. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, Adventure Zone, right? It's like, uh, I don't know if it's the most popular, but it's definitely one of the most popular like D and D uh podcasts, and it's fantastic. If anyone here hasn't seen it, it's fucking incredible. But uh, mm -hmm. it's it's three brothers and their dad playing D and D, and they're more focused on having fun than they are on mechanics that might like bog down the fun. And I had a yeah. friend who was like really into D and D, and I was like, "Oh, I love Adventure Zone." And they were like, mm, "Well, they're not really playing D and D." You oh. should listen to this podcast instead. Oh. I'm like, "What? Hey, that's <laughs> which <is> lame." <laughs> yeah. Which is why I say in that video, I'm gonna be like, "Not that's really D and D," so that I don't have people being like, Ugh, "This girl this pretending that she knows what she's doing is she's so stupid. fake." Thank you, D fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, listen, it's like uh, oh, you haven't rolled the dice properly, and uh, you know that I feel like <laughs> that's the number one issue with all of the campaigns that I've played. So I usually whenever I play it, it's with a lot of the rules stripped down. Like I don't mm -hmm. think in any of the campaigns I played, they make the wizards get all the ingredients for the spells. They're like, bro, we ain't doing that. All right, <laughs> like we're not doing that. <laughs> We're not doing all the hardcore stuff. But one game I played had a pretty rough dungeon master who was just like, yeah, you can't go there. Sorry, I, I can you go here instead? And I'm like, no, what? I want to go <laughs> there. Like, let me, <laughs> let me do stuff, you know? Like, that was rough. Yeah. But. Aww. I mean, my the, 
the campaign I'm doing right now, uh, one of my friends is Edgar the Walnut Salesman, and he works as <laughs> the great walnut. And I let him make his familiar be a walnut. And he was trying really hard to convince me. He's like, what if it's like a two foot tall walnut? Like, how, how cool Bro. is that? Like, no, if you're making me <laughs> homebrew a fucking walnut familiar, you are getting a walnut. It is an inch. Yeah. yeah. So you're a nightmare for a DM. I'm going to say it right, <laughs> right, right there. Just a tiny Rush, walnut. Rush would also be a nightmare for the DM, man. I I, uh, I want chaos. If I have to, well, I know chaos. you. I was just gonna say, if we were doing an alignment, you would be chaotic, like chaotic evil. Like you would be <laughs> just in the worst. Everything is bad. Just that, nothing. It makes it way funnier, way more entertaining. If there's chaos. You don't want things to go you, smoothly. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously, okay, it's funny if there is chaos, but you can have funny. Like I feel like again, if you're into the character. There tends to be natural chaos, right? Like mm -hmm. I was playing, a, I was playing a D and D campaign in which I was playing a wizard who only cared about spells, right? Who was really selfish, like does care for his friends, but if there was an opportunity to get a new spell, they would take it over anything. And mm -hmm. I was also playing with a friend of mine, my best friend, who was playing a paladin who cared about the law more than anything. And so one time, I kind of betrayed my friends to get a spell and got caught, and I asked them to get me out. And I had a huge clash, and it was a chaotic clash between the paladin and I. And it was really good chaos. It was just natural out of our characters. That felt <laughs> You know what I mean? That's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's like the best moments because it feels like you're being true to your character and this like a natural progression, like Game of Thrones. You know, that that feels cool as fuck. Yeah. My and first... then Rush comes in and each other like farts on us. You know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> yeah. yeah. damage you did. Rush totally would. <laughs> my <laughs> first, my first DM, like my first campaign. Uh, she was really cool. She was really lenient. My, I was a rock gnome who was like four, three foot, something like that. Um, and uh, my weapon of choice was a spoon. And <laughs> she let me like put magical power into my spoon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And I just I would I had like a mage hand and um I would like just ride it everywhere with my spoon like a steed. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. It was stupid. <laughs> I love it. I I feel like especially because we're all animators uh, slash like storytellers, right? Yeah. D and D is a game that kind of really takes uh takes advantage of that, right? Makes mm -hmm. it all go crazy. Yeah. Um, Look, if there was a, another social way I can get loose like that, I would take it. But right now, there's no oh, big D and D thing. I didn't like look. Hello. Hello. Hey, listen, I'm. I just told me that we were married. Damn. Listen, <laughs> <Megan. laughs> uh, there's get, so get in the many. band back together. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the only way I can get loose now, nowadays, like, because again, I'm into social games, right? And so Among Us, again, I hate talking about it three weeks in a row, but gosh, damn, that game is taking over my life, it's man. Among us, I don't it? know. It's Among Us? Yeah. Is it Among Us, yeah. Moz? Yeah, it's Among Us. Oh, my Among God. Among Us? <laughs> it's taken over. Like, okay, I'm, I'm addicted to RuneScape and Among Us right now, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, but I'm not addicted to Among Us in, as, like, the game itself. I'm addicted to Twitch streaming. I love Twitch streaming. Twitch I, streaming's it's, fun. It's I love really it. fun. And I, because I, I just like the fact that when I play Among Us, it can record the shenanigans. Like, uh, I posted mm -hmm. a video that Brody, my editor, cut up about of Emily and I's shenanigans just alone oh, on that yeah. one day of streaming. I was crying laughing. <laughs> I was crying Dude, laughing. <laughs> there was a time when Emily got imposter like twice in a row. And she killed me the first time. And, and I was like, I, I was, she was marinating me the first time. The second yeah. time I was like, it, it's not Emily this time. I'll walk with her. But I, I was telling my stream, I was like, she better not kill me though. Don't kill me, Emily. Don't kill me. And she killed me as soon as I said it. <laughs> it, was, I, no, it was so good. It no, was Emily, so funny. Emily's a monster. <laughs> like, <laughs> Every okay, so the, on the day we were playing, Emily got imposter like eight or nine times in a row. I hate, like, I hated it. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. All of the nine or eight or nine games, she killed me. I think first five times, just straight up. Like, <gasps> Smart move. Smart move. The, the other, the other two or three times, uh, she killed this guy named Shy, and I would catch her killing every single time. <laughs> I would walk in. There was one time in admin, she killed the person in oxygen and scale, like literally right in front of me. She walked to the corner near the vent, but I walked. Walked up, looked at her in her eyes for like ten seconds straight. I was like, Emily, Emily, really, you're gonna do, you're gonna do this, huh? And I just walked back up and reported it. 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm still, oh. like, I'm still losing my mind over the, the time that we played. And Emily and I, like, we trusted each other. And Emily's like, Ray, I have so many things to do in electrical. Come with me. I'm scared. And we both went. And then I don't remember who it was. I feel like one of them was rushed. But we got double killed in electrical. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, with us. That was, that was so funny. That oh. was you and Moz? Yeah. You home. Take my royalty and let me go. I was staring you down. I'm like, all right, Mom, I'm going to kill the person. I'm sick of death of you people. We both hopped into the vent. We're like, we're fucking out of here. <laughs> there was also like one round. It was like uh, Ray going to go on captain. And Ray goes like, I'm captain, guys. I'm captain. And I just sliced her throat immediately. <laughs> like one round in. I felt so bad. I no, you crazy. didn't. No, I didn't no. feel bad. You I loved every perfect. second of it. <laughs> I loved every second of it. <laughs> we are still undefeated, Moz. No one can stop. I think, yeah, we are like 11, 10 or 11 games in a row now. Wow. We are undefeated. So there's yeah. so much pressure every time you both get yep. it. Yeah, yeah, there I is. Hate it. There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> we need, we need like the first scratch of a car. You know, when you get your first scratch, then it's like, oh, whatever. Like, we lost. You know? Yeah, but, yeah. But, but like yeah. a perfect clean, squeaky clean record of yeah, like wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it'll happen eventually. Jade almost got us the one day. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like the reason I'm hooked on Among Us is because it like um it gives me the social interaction that I've been kind of craving a lot. Mm -hmm. I think every single year I I tell you guys, like, yeah, I figure out how much of an extrovert I am. So like two years ago, I was stuck um in a rural area with a friend of mine and uh as in like that was fun but i i had like eight eight friends max and i mm -hmm. was like oh wow i need to get more and then last year i was i couldn't have more friends and i was like no i need more and then this year i was going to travel everywhere to meet all my friends that i've been meaning to meet and then obviously covid came up and yeah like, say psych right now say psych right now <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, this year has been super lonely, like really for me, uh, mm -hmm. as an extrovert who was trying to break out more, I've been mm -hmm. kind of forced into back into my shell. And it feels like this room over here is like, it's like all I see now. Like I literally sit in this room and work here and play here and I go down to eat and I cook and I gym and that's my life, right? Mm -hmm, and yeah. uh, I feel like, I feel like Among Us, the, like people are like, Moz, oh, you're addicted to Among Us. No, I'm not addicted to Among Us. I'm addicted to making friends and meeting the people. That's what I'm addicted oh. to. You know? Yeah. yeah. I say, yeah. I, it, I don't know why it turned really sappy there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> you're lonely. <laughs> How uh -huh. dare you? <laughs> I'm lonely. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. I don't know. I feel like the Corona, uh, I was telling Emily and Reagan this earlier, but cr if anybody walks out of 2020 saying, yeah, that was a great year, I'm just going to beat the crap out of them, you know? I'm yeah. just going to beat the crap out of them. It was the best year ever. <laughs> no, yeah, this this year's awful. It's this one sucks. month left. Dude. One month left. One month left, and we're... <laughs> my state is closing up again because our Good. cases have spiked, yeah. The but all numbers. the toilet paper is yeah. gone again. <laughs> but oh, no. I was smart like before the election like like a day before the election i went out and stocked up on toilet paper because i was like something's gonna happen i feel it so <laughs> i went and so we're prepared <laughs> but i went to the store today and it was all gone and i was like Ooh, oh man spooky. that's the thing it. like yeah. you know all the conventions are like we'll come back 2021 and i'm like bro you got record number of cases today like it is getting worse in america yeah. right? thanksgiving's gonna be the i think thanksgiving mm -hmm. gonna be the peak like after like a week or two spooky. a couple of my friends have it and i'm like oh man i haven't like hung out with them or anything in months so like i'm fine yeah. but like oh it still sucks though i have a, a there's someone i'm like acquaintance with in a group chat and they had just joined it recently and they were in the vent chat and they're like hey guys so I was invited to a Halloween thing. Mm. Probably would have probably was stupid to go, but like I had tickets for it. And oh. I think I have COVID. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh. I'm gonna be fine. yeah. Oh. you deserve that. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say it right there. I think you deserve that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, in a wow. pandemic, you decided um, to go in a room of people when every yeah. single medical expert is telling you not to, and then you got corona. 
Yeah, maybe you deserve that. I don't Do know. Think, yeah. something, Isn't something. the recent spike is because of Halloween? Yeah. Oh, really? Sure. Yep. I stayed inside. <laughs> so Emily, Emily, listen. It, it Corona is annoying because it takes two weeks to find the case, right? You you, you yeah. get the symptoms to that the Corona test yeah, it's detects been like two, two weeks, weeks after. Halloween, yeah, just, exactly. So the, the thing is, the, spi- the worst thing is, though, in these two weeks, people have hung out. And within those two weeks, it's contagion. It's like, you know, it's spread. So what's mm-hmm. going to be worse in the next two weeks, you're going to find the repercussions of the cases spiking. And then in the next two weeks afterwards with Thanksgiving. You know, we're fucked. You're, oh, you're, my you're, God. Americans are, are going to be like, I've, I've been quarantined all year. This is I the time for my, my family. family. I'm going to get <laughs> drunk and play some cornhole. Let's go. Ugh. And then, and then, so you're gonna de- have to deal with again in December fifteenth. You're gonna have like the spike of Thanksgiving, okay. and then two weeks later you have Christmas and New Year's. Yep, and, and you know, you're gonna have yeah. literally, you there's nothing but up right now for America. There's yeah, if just we, if we aren't no quarant- like forced quarantine for New Year's, yeah. that's for horrifying. real. It's Australia, crazy on okay, New okay, Year's. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna brag about Australia here. <laughs> we were so locked down that we're actually opening up for Christmas. So we're all like clear for Christmas. Everything's gonna open up before Christmas, so we can celebrate it well. Christmas. Okay. Good on yeah. good on you guys. Like uh, it's it's just nice to hear some good news that somewhere else in the world COVID's <laughs> not as bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's honestly back to normal in the state i live in it's that's super... good I'm glad. I, I, no no one wears masks everyone goes outside everyone's flexing just... on us yeah he's flexing. Yeah. sorry sorry uh, i kind of uh, like hearing it oh. i don't know <laughs> i don't imagine having anyways, a good but... healthcare system oh, yeah. imagine. New, new flex culture is, is <laughs> bragging about how your state is not as diseased as the other state. <laughs> <laughs> what is coming to Especially uh, from the doctor. Brad culture. Like, I got toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. When they say you got bands, you, they don't mean bands of toilet paper, right? Like <laughs> <laughs> travel bands. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I look as uh, as much as like as much as Australia is doing well in the kind of spread side of it. I think. It is still really, really affecting everyone mentally. I think that's the huge impact yeah. of it. Um, because again, jobs when the lock when a lockdown happens, the reason America didn't go into lockdown just to kind of really give them a benefit of the doubt is because it does dip your economy. Of course, it does. No mm-hmm. one's working. Yeah. No one's getting money. America Australian economy. economy. I think I told you guys Australian economy tanked for a month or two. It did. Yeah, it, just, it yeah. got tanked. Um, yeah, and so America is obviously trying not to have it tank, and so that's why they're not going full lockdown, right? And I understand mm-hmm. that. I do. And the impact of that, though, is also, like, if the economy dips, the people who suffer are the, the lower, like, socioeconomic people. They're the, the poor people will suffer the most because they can't work for their family. The amount that's of people, true. Like, the re- I can't even, like, I said uh, publicly that, hey, guys, I'm going to go to therapy, and I was, you know, proud of myself and excited. But every single therapy session is booked out because of how many people need it, you know. Oh my, and it's just oh, like, oh. yeah, it's like I can't even get a session in. And I, they're like, you can mm. Skype. And I was like, I would, I don't want to Skype for my very first session. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> can I uh, can I swing the, the conversation into maybe maybe a controversial point? Oh Go yeah, make it sure. Spicy. How many people here Stop. have gone to therapy just for just for like me? I have been the doctor. <laughs> I've, been, yeah. I, I've been the psychiatrist assistant, but I've been wanting to, but I can't afford it. So <laughs> never. It's like something that I wanted to talk about on my channel, but I feel like it's so precarious. I don't know if I'd get in trouble for it because I, I made a video before I went to VidCon about like how badly I I needed help because my self image yeah. is so bad. My self esteem is so awful. Uh, mm-hmm. And I I made I made good on my promise and I, I tried a couple different therapists and four out of five of them were such like so no hold on three out of four of them were such terrible experiences that I stopped going. And then a few months later, uh I I was trying to get medication for my ADHD and they sent me somewhere, they said you need to go to this person to get officially diagnosed. 
And when I went mm -hmm. there, I was like, okay, so this person's going to diagnose me with my ADHD. And it was weird. Like they were just kind of having a conversation and talking over me the whole time. And like halfway through the session, I brought up the ADHD thing and they're like, oh no, this is just therapy. So I don't know how those wires got crossed that they booked me that way, that I was just signed up for a talk session before any diagnosis could be made. Mm. But on the spot, just finding out that's where I was, like I left and I just started sobbing in my car because I've Aww. had such a terrible experience Aww. with it. Yeah. And I don't know what to do about that. No, uh, that's that's a yeah. okay. That's very 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 unfortunate that you had egg their house. That. But like uh, this is like I uh, I really don't want to like say even saying this out loud is going to be damaging, but mm -hmm. I'm going to be careful about how I say this, right? Um psychiatry is like any other form of medicine in the fact that you're going to have some really good doctors who are very adept at reading the signs, picking up on cues and diagnosing and treating conditions. But again, as in any other job, you will have people who are qualified technically, like they pass the exams, but they just don't have the people skills to mm -hmm. really pick up on the cues. And I think psychiatry is a job that you need to pick up on the cues the most, right? You need to be able to read people effectively. Mm -hmm. um, for the long time, I actually thought I wouldn't, I wanted to go to psychiatry, right? I've always been able to pick up cues pretty well. I don't know. I, I hope that doesn't sound conceited. No, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, the main reason as to why I decided against that was because when I went into psychiatry, did my rotation there, I felt that some of the people were a bit too robotic and was uh, was not were not good enough for psychiatry, and I felt it felt like I would be frustrated with working in it. Right mm. now, the reason I'm being cautious in saying this is because if you need help via psychiatrist, you need help. You, I don't want you to be like, oh, they're not going to be good enough. No, it's better to go than not go. Right, that's, hands down. That's why. But, I not talking about it because I don't want to be the person who's like don't go to therapy but yes I, it feels like there's a talking point there that yes can there, there is <laughs> yeah it can and I think like because there's multiple different ways to go about a conversation in therapy right people will naturally sync up with one or the other kind of way and if you really don't feel if you go to a therapist and you really don't sync up or really don't line up and you're like oh I actually don't like what they did there go see another one, okay? Mm -hmm. It's better to see more than to go back to the same one that you don't line up with. It's better to see more than to not see one, okay? It's okay. You, you'll find one that you line up with, you sync with, and you can stick with them. Mm -hmm. If you need help, seek help. Thank you. That's yeah. my PSA. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo! Oh, Yay. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. I, I've solved mental health. I you did, did it. it. Yeah. You did it. Depression doesn't exist anymore. We're all okay. Depression? Just stop. You know, I did. I did. Have you considered just producing more serotonin? Easy. <laughs> there you go. Easy. What were you saying, Rush? I remembered that I had a I had a therapist at one point. Yeah. It was back that? when I was a little boy. Little baby really? boy? Little baby boy. I was little in like baby? third grade. There, well, all right. So I had ADHD, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they told yeah. me on medicine. They're like ADHD medicine. It made me a zombie during the day, right? I was yep. just just dead. Like I was like, they Ugh. gave you meth. Yeah, you know, Adderall. Yeah, and I come home. Apparently, my mom was like, "You became violent when you came home." Started hitting me. I'm like, "What?" Like, what? You just were violent and put little fits up and just run around. And I'm like, "All right, that's weird." It's like it made you angry. Yeah. I didn't know what to do for you, so we took you to therapy. I'm like, "Oh yeah." So my therapist like interviewed me after like a month or whatever. We just sit there. I'll draw. They'll talk to me. I'll be like, yeah, but life's good, whatever. And the therapist is like, yeah, just take him off the medicine, put him in the sports. And they're like, what? He's like, yeah, just let him get all his, all his ang en uh, energy out in sports. And that was my that was my cure. Yeah, sports. So Ad <laughs> Adderall or like the medication that is frequently used to increase ADHD. Oh, like you know, help with ADHD. Mm -hmm. is it's like a it's, a it's a form of meth right um and like obviously medical meth it's not yeah. just mm -hmm. straight up meth um mm -hmm. used to treat cool kid and, syndrome exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it increases your adrenaline so it's it's like common in kids to become a zombie the becoming a zombie is the other side of it, it increases other uh, uh chemicals 
Mm. But they probably with you being violent, it's probably because of their adrenaline. You probably felt like this little little you know rage induced, <laughs> just like start punching, <laughs> start, start punching people. <laughs> it was a good time. It's fun times. Cops were caught on. No, no, don't punch <laughs> your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember any of that time my period. My mom just reminded, like, mom told me about this one time. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I get you. But I, again, like, I think all of that, all of, like, the therapy thing, it's just, a, again, I just want to really state this out loud. Corona is really bad. Corona sucks mm-hmm. mentally, most of all. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you need help, go go seek it. And, like, yeah. I don't want to I don't want to call you out, Emily, but, like, be, before, before we started the podcast. <laughs> before, what, what happened? You were you were you were a sad boy. You were in the sad boy hours. Oh yeah, yeah, just for a bit. <laughs> just for a little. bit. <laughs> yeah. no. I mean, you already cured depression, Maz, so it's fine. So it's yeah, gone now. Oh, so Emily, it's don't even worry about it. <laughs> Emily's better now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will never feel sad this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, have you have you been feeling the kind of stress from Corona, the isolation, Emily? Um, yeah, you know how, like, it's, it's like a really quick version of the seven stages of grief, where you're like, you know, everyone, everyone collectively went through that feeling of it's bad now, but it'll get better. It'll be better by the fall. We just, mm. if everyone cooperates, but you know how things work <laughs> in America, no one cooperates. Yeah. So, <laughs> so then it's, it's a, it's like that initial feeling of sadness when like all the stuff you had planned suddenly gets like thrown in the trash because this yeah. pandemic suddenly hits the nation mm-hmm. and then and then it, it turns into oh but things will get better and then it turns yeah. into oh wait things are getting worse it's not gonna get better yeah mm-hmm. and then and then it's just kind of like that dread where you're like there's no point in like feeling super sad about it i'm just gonna yeah. write it out basically yeah mm-hmm. I think that's me right now. I'm just like, I don't know how long this is going to last, but whatever. It's, yeah, it's like nothing surprises me anymore. Like, yeah. before it seemed like, what? There's 100,000 cases in one. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then now it's like, ah, like more people died. All right. I, I yeah. Like Which sucks. Yeah. I don't want to feel that way. Like, I don't want to feel like yeah. I'm becoming, I, like, I care less. Yeah, that's valid. Uh, when me and my sister, we went to Walmart today because I needed some water. And, um, all the eggs were gone. We were like, oh, well, <laughs> we didn't even like, we weren't yeah. even phased by it. We were just like, oh, well, you know, it's fine. <laughs> like before it would be, oh my God, Dang. there's no toilet paper. What the hell happened? Yeah. Now it's like, whoa, they have a new stock of toilet paper. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad, Emily, that you live with friends. I think if you didn't have them, you, I think you would Dude, have really. if I oh, lived yeah. on, that's the thing. People, I think I made a tweet a while back where I was like, people who live on their own, like, how are you dealing with this? I don't oh understand. Oh my goodness. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> and, and, yeah, especially you, Maz, like fellow extrovert. How are you? Like, I'm really grateful that I have roommates who yeah who i can mm-hmm. give my who i can sap social interaction out of on a daily basis but at mm-hmm. the same time i've kind of like gotten used to just like being in my room by myself all day mm-hmm. because my workspace is right next to my bed which i don't think is healthy but that's just what happens no. when you have one room yeah like yeah. When I, i'm working with what i got yeah 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 so but like i've gotten used to this like routine of i roll out of bed go to the bathroom, go into my room, sit on the computer, the whole day passes me. <laughs> go to bed. I, yeah, and like, yeah. I, I definitely feel like my sleep has been affected because, yeah. what do, like, you know, what do I have to fix it for? Nobody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I think my appetite's been like, effed up too because I'll eat yeah. like, one meal. Like, I'll wake up, I'll, I just won't eat anything for the whole day. I'll eat dinner and then that's kind of it. That's me Same. too. I eat once a day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just don't get hungry until later. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Emily, I'm gonna ask you a set of questions, okay? But okay. how have you been feeling mood wise? Like, if, has that been okay? Um, I think so. I I feel like I'm I'm feeling much better than I did at the beginning when everything was going kind of crazy. I remember it was mm-hmm. super down, just like seeing all my plans get screwed up yeah but you know now it's like well i don't i'm not making any plans for 2021 yet Mm -hmm. 
because I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I think. So. Yeah. <laughs> We're booking all the Very... Airbnbs, boys. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I got my Airbnb at around this time for 2020, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I I think is that's when being overly organized hurt me because I bought the Airbnb in November of 2019. I was mm-hmm. like, guys, it's gonna be okay. Corona's <laughs> gonna die. And nope. 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 Yeah. Not. <laughs> yeah. But I get you. How has it impacted your current? Uh, well, I guess it's public now. Your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, she's not oh single. Oh my god! <laughs> All yeah. of your sips are like. Oh, oh, that's a a <laughs> Did you know the, the funniest comment when people found out that you were dating Didus was like, "Didus, how did he land him?" <laughs> like, like they were like, <laughs> "How did a how did a weeb like him get in?" Like, like being like a lonely degenerate is kind of part of his brand. Oh. <laughs> He he sort of expected as much. He thinks it's funny. Mm-hmm. But That's good. Uh I I kinda I wasn't super sad about the fact it was a long distance. So okay. Fun fact. Before yeah. we like in like the courting process. I adore your diction, darling. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> in the wooing stage, <laughs> as I might say. Um I I remember I was fully convinced that I wasn't fit for like another relationship mm-hmm. because I thought that I just wouldn't have time for it. And because in like my previous relationship, I like there were many reasons why that relationship failed. But one of the reasons was just I couldn't put any time into it anymore because I was just focused on my own thing. Mm-hmm. And like my ex's line of work was just complete like we were basically in completely different worlds yeah and he didn't he even after like years he didn't really quite get what i did yeah like it's just he he didn't really care for it that much but also he yeah. didn't like the fact that i threw so much of my time into it but it's like yeah it's what i love to do it's my passion yeah and so yeah. i was after we broke up i was just wholly convinced like Ah, oh, I'm not. I guess I just don't do relationship. I'm better off single, and that's totally fine because I'm happy just like drawing all the time. I don't really need a guy. I don't need no man, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when Dinas initially asked me out, I was like, "Ah, oh, honestly, no, nah, I don't think I, I don't think I'm like fit for a relationship." Mm-hmm. Tbh. But then we both kind of realized like we we do the same thing, so it's like he he gets it. Mm-hmm. And also because it's long distance. At first, I thought, "Oh, long distance is fine because we're busy all the time anyway." Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it'll just—it just means it'll be extra nice when we do see each other. But Mm-mm. when we're not seeing each other, we're like already so busy with doing what we love that, like, we don't really need that close proximity, you know? You can still form the emotional relationship. Yeah, yeah, I get. Yeah, that. and. You know, I still, I still think like a long distance is fine, but yeah. it definitely. But? but you know, COVID kind of made it a lot harder. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. saying that it was in any danger of like failing. Yeah. But I think I showed Moz like a while back, but I had sent Moz a picture of like a letter that I had sent uh Ditus back yeah. in like Valentine's Day yeah. because at that time COVID wasn't a thing yet. Oh. So- I literally, I literally made a list of like, hey, these are all the happy Valentine's Day. These are all the days or like all the events we're gonna see each other at this year. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I wanna, I wanna take some words from it because it's so, so sweet that I'm just like, oh, Emily, there's nothing you can do here. <laughs> okay. okay, wait, wait. Okay, can I read it out loud or is that no, too cringy? No, no, read it out loud. It's totally fine. Okay. Hi, I love you, and I look forward to making so many wonderful memories with you this year. Just in case you forgot how much time we'll spend together, we've got Japan for three weeks in April, Castle Point Anime Con in May, VidCon in June, Anime Expo in July, Animanga in August, Disney World together. So don't get sick of me during the spring and summertime, okay? And then don't get sick with COVID. (laughs) (laughs) That like whole week where because you know everything got canceled kind of around the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was this like painful 
short experience of like, oh, well, this got canceled, but it's okay. We still have this. And then that got ripped from my hands less than 24 <laughs> hours later. And I remember that a whole week I was like in shambles because I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> like it's March, but my whole year's already effed up. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? And then, then I like came to like process it and just kind of accept it. But I think the most recent mm-hmm. example of like that happening again and me being like, I'm such a dumb bitch. I should have seen this coming. Yeah. Was our one year anniversary came up in oh. October. Oh. And I secretly bought, this is really stupid of me. So you can, you know, you can call me out for this one. But I I had bought like Broadway tickets to see Phantom of the Opera in New York City Mm. for, I think, I forgot what month it was in. It was in 2021. But I was like, oh, tickets are buyable. So that like, think sure you better buy them, right? Like me with my stupid optimism. (laughs) uh, yeah, I bought them because it's his favorite musical, but he has never seen it live. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. And then literally, literally the morning of when I was going to surprise him with it, I got an email and it was like, <gasps> your reservation has been canceled. because." No. And then Broadway announced that they were going to cancel all their productions until I think like July of 2021. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was so upset. I'm like, are you kidding me? I can't have anything. <laughs> did you have did you get a refund or something? Oh yeah, I got a refund. Oh thank God. Okay. Uh, yeah, did yeah, you yeah. you didn't tell him when before it got canceled, did you? No, but I okay. Told him, okay. I, I told him after, oh. like, hey, I got I got his tickets, but they got canceled. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cry. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, sucks, man. Wait, so what? Got through that. Yeah. That's what okay. was... I should have seen it coming. <laughs> it's oh, fair to be up? optimist. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was wondering the time difference. Like when you said no to him, how long did it take? We're like, yeah, you know what? Never mind. Oh, like a day. A day. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's it's so funny because beforehand it, it's you know those you know those 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 crushes where you're like I don't think it's gonna come from it though like I just have a crush on this person but it too will pass like like most crushes you know yes yes I I remember yeah, and like Reagan. the thing is I was so like dismissive about it I didn't even tell any of my close friends that uh, i liked him because i just assumed nothing would come of it because i i just mm-hmm. i was like well i'm not gonna get into a relationship what's the point i'm not gonna get excited over it mm-hmm. and i remember i had a conversation with Alyssa, like in person this was a while back but i remember i'm like i was like i think i have a, a crush on titus but like he's not like boyfriend material so like i'm not gonna go for it and she's like yeah that, that makes sense and so all my friends are under the impression that i just wasn't gonna date Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what happened, but here we are now. Thanks for made. Y'all still going good? Cause they're going well. Oh yeah, absolutely. But it's like okay. I don't, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, when will we see each other again? Who knows? Um, yeah. When if there is a VidCon next year, I oh. I don't want y'all in my Airbnb. <laughs> 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 Yeah, get him out of here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Em- I know Emily, I I've known you for literal years now. I oh, man, I don't I don't want to I don't have anything to do with it. y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else I'm worried about? Tell us mm-hmm. up. Is the uh so okay, assuming VidCon doesn't happen in 2021. It's mm-hmm. looking mm-hmm. like they're trying to make it happen, but go. Uh, am I like? Am I? Am I still gonna be featured? Or <laughs> does that does uh, that roll over? I don't think. Uh, uh, man, that uh, yeah, they're looking. They're looking like they want it to be on. So I don't know, Emily. Like, uh, what if they don't? Okay, what if they don't? What? What then? Uh, I'm gonna just have to take the L because I don't. Damn. I don't want to be like entitled. Like you said, I was invited. What happened? No, it's oh, not entitled. Yeah. You, they literally I wasn't gave you. So I don't care. But yeah, I, Reagan's I, like, I might, uh, I might be like, hey, do you still want me? And if they're like, nah, I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'll just, <laughs> I'll just, I'll just go to Mars and Airbnb. It's fine. 
Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> no, you come I visit, guess, I guess. I don't think it's entitled. They literally tell, told you, like, hey, you are f- enough to be featured in 2020. Yeah. Like, we would love to have you. It's not entitled mm-hmm. to be like, hey, am I still applicable for 2021? Like, I've only gotten bigger and more popular since then, right? Like, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I don't know. And I don't think you've been in any controversies at all, you know? You yeah. yeah. Let's change that. I- no! <laughs> <laughs> no! Yeah. Let's start Can- some beef. Let's cancel Emmy Ricci, please. Thank you. No, uh, no, no, no. Emily is... I, I think, like, some people think I actually hate you. Like, I made a video commenting on how I'm not into big titty goth girls. And in it, I was like, my former friend, Emmy Ricci. Wait, no, uh, and people I was, take that seriously? You're kidding. Uh, one or two. Like, people uh, take everything minority. seriously. Yeah, minority uh, of people. But, yeah, you know, I, was, I was just like, man, if y'all can't tell, that was a joke. Like, come on. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I have a, a video I made forever ago. Uh, there's, I hate the Pokemon Stunfisk. That's the whole gist of the story. Yeah, yep. good, good. Forever ago, uh, a group of my friends decided to, like, torture me with it. So they went to the effort. It's the nicest fucking thing. And I still have it on my wall. They all, like, made pictures of me, like, macking on Stunfisk. And they made oh. it into a mural, like, this big canvas. And they sent mm-hmm. it to me and they insisted that I open it. Like I record myself opening it because they wanted to terrorize me, you know, like it, it was a nice mm-hmm. gift that they, <laughs> and they wanted to piss me off with it. So I did what they wanted. And I said in the video, I'm like, God damn it. This is like so sweet. Why? And it's so cursed. And I, <laughs> I cherish it. It is still on my wall right now. <laughs> and I have people in the comments who are like, wow, you really don't appreciate this thing that your friend worked so hard on for you. I'm like, what? What? Oh, what? It's on they my wall. To- yeah. Oh my god. They get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so seriously. Yeah, I heard you hate. I, I heard you hate Stunfisk. Um, I was trying to look for my picture of me with the tiger that PJ painted uh, for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I, I think my family hid it somewhere because I try to find it and they're like, I, I don't know where it went. I'm like, okay, sure, bro. Ah. <laughs> 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 behind like they- like I think they put in the cupboard of storage and just forgot about it. Yeah, it's like my dad has it under his bed or something, right? Like, no. yeah, he, he just looks at, at it every it. night. For, you know, <laughs> my beautiful son, <laughs> with his beautiful tiger. <laughs> I, gotcha. I don't funny. know. I feel like you just you just gotta roll with the punches with Corona. I think humans are so mm-hmm. good at adapting. Like if you had told us uh, last year, twenty nineteen, end of twenty nineteen that hey you are literally not going to be able to go outside you're going to need masks there's not not going to be any eggs or toilet paper like if you told us that we'd be like what are you talking about what do you yeah. mean i can't go outside yeah. but we adapted because humans adapt mm-hmm. to anything right that's one of the biggest things that we can do uh other animals can't do that mm-hmm. but again yeah. that comes with a lot of mental taxing and it's you know that's the one thing that i'm just super worried about mm-hmm. like reagan you just said outright you're gonna have two piercings uh, because of Corona, like what's that about? Oh no, that was that was Emily. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, okay. Your ears. I'm gonna go get my ears pierced. Hell yeah! Ooh, I did really? get my ears pierced recently, and my bitch oh. ass passed out during it. But... What? Wait, oh, what? what? Oh, really? No, 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 no. So what it is is, um, I actually I recorded a podcast about this, but it's not up yet. Basically, long mm-hmm. story short, forever ago, I had a bike accident that <gasps> like really fucked me up. Like I had a. Uh, I had teeth issues like years later because of it. Um, I, I have a scar from it. My right arm is shorter than my left because of it. It was really bad. Wow. And yeah. uh, in order to to put the growth plate on my right hand, like back on my fucking wrist, they had to do this like insanely fucking awful uh, procedure. And I've got trauma from it. So okay. if it, it put me in a situation where anytime I think that I have to go to the hospital, I will yeah. faint on the spot. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, is that I've had my ears pierced before. And for some reason, like going into the thing, I just had a feeling I'm like, because I was kind of worried about like, oh, would it maybe because when I got my ears pierced before, it didn't hurt. But I was like, I mean, there's there's probably scar tissue there now because it's kind of closed up. I wonder if that would hurt more. And I was like taking deep breaths. I was doing really good. And uh, like yeah. my, my roommate went before me and it went fine. She didn't flinch at all. And I told the guy like, hey, I, I'm worried about scar tissue. He's like, OK, I'll look out for that. And. He did the first year that would have been the harder one and it was all going good. He's like, there you go. I'm like, yeah, that was fine. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. And I go, excuse me, sir. I, 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 and I passed out. 
<laughs> oh. Did you do the other one while you're sleeping, or? I mean, he... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I he laid me down on the table, and I wasn't sleeping. I I woke up like two seconds later. He did do my other ear while I was like no. waking up, so I wasn't aware of it. Nice. But, oh, yeah, that's it good. Was... Nice. I that's would have totally me. loved if he did that for me. I'm like, <laughs> if I passed, I'll just do it right there. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I didn't expect. Oh, yeah. uh, I didn't expect lockdown to affect well, me as much as it did. Did you? Yeah, I was just going to say, do you think that that's like a side effect of the stress and pressure that you've been feeling recently along with the corona? Because I feel like uh, you're tackling a lot. It's just uh, the last few months have been getting like progressively worse. Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that I can't really talk about, but it's just a lot of things have been building on each other. And I'm just frankly like not doing okay um mm -hmm. there's my my health is tanking all this different stuff i because i have so many projects i'm working on too and i i'm really stressed out about that i lost my prescription for my adhd meds so that's been mm -hmm. like it's, uh, it's just things on top uh, of each other other things that are serious enough that I, I can't say it but like it's it's just a lot so i went like i sat down and i went god damn it i need something happy yeah. And I'm I'm literally in the process of making a video about this right now. So if mm -hmm. anyone seen, has seen that speed paint, then you've already heard the story. But mm -hmm. I, I need something to make me happy. When I first moved out when I was 18, I got uh, like three fish tanks and I loved them. I'm like, I miss having fish. I want, I mm -hmm. want a goddamn fish tank. I deserve mm -hmm. it. Nay, I deserve it. So yes. I got, it's like this 40 gallon tank beautiful tank uh i slowly filled it up with the most beautiful decorations i could find i knew exactly like i wanted to theme it around uh two particular kind of fish and i was i was so ready for it and it has been a fucking nightmare it has been the really experience because so the the fish that i wanted to get were like semi-aggressive and yeah it's not even that like I don't think the temperaments even, no, no, sorry. One of them definitely did. One of them definitely did. Uh, but it's less that the temperaments came into play and more that I really trusted the the PetSmart employees that were selling me the fish. Uh, Cause like I did some of my own research and I thought I was preparing things correctly. And like, I, I was asking the PetSmart people for second opinions on what I looked up. And then I was just asking them questions. I'm like, can I get these fish together? And they went, yep, that's fine. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I got all my fish and I put them all in my tank and they were beautiful and they were stunning. And it was great. I was so happy about it. And one fish uh, died right off the bat, just out of stress. And I looked at him like, that's oh. my, that's Aww. me too. Uh -huh. I, felt uh. That. Uh. <laughs> I feel that. Okay. You name it. One of the things with fish is sometimes they just die, you know, like mm -hmm. fish are fickle creatures. And I knew that right. going in. So I was like, like the first tank I had uh, out of nowhere, it got ick and I lost the entire tank. And I learned that sometimes fish just freaking die. Uh, and I, I never had an accident after that. And that was years ago. And I'm like, I'm so ready for fish. And it has just been like case after case after case after case of finding out like, oh, the pet store didn't actually tell me this about this fish when I bought it. Uh, like there were a lot of fish that I asked them uh, like, hey, these go well with these, right? And they're like, yeah. What they didn't tell me was I would get like one of each fish because I wanted to name them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the fish that I got don't do well outside of communities. Mm. And a lot of the fish that they sell, I'm learning, PetSmart has no business selling them because they're like serious fish. Uh, one of the things I didn't realize was I got a, a bala shark and like those, those can get pretty big. And I was told mm -hmm. you could have one in your tank of like, you, you could have one in your big ass tank. I'm like, cool, I'll get one of them. And I like I've read online that they're not very aggressive and like they were telling me yeah they'll they'll be fine in your tank with all these other fish what they didn't tell me was that bala sharks are aggressive if you don't get them in communities but the uh -oh. thing is is that mm. bala sharks get so big that if say you need like baseline of five bala sharks for it to be like normal for them to be yeah. a docile I did the right, math right. you need like a hundred and thirty gallon tank to have oh my god! So you have Mark tank? has no business selling these things that need to take up an entire room. So I had no idea, and I just started to have fish like just brutally murdered. I would oh, leave my room and I come oh. back and they're like decimated. I'm like, oh my god, no! <laughs> it was to the extent that like I had friends who were staying over, 
like, uh, and they, they'd come out of my room and they'd be like, Ray, I'm so sorry to be the one to tell you this. I'm like, do not fucking say it. And they're like, no, another one. It's like, damn it. What the oh. heck? What? This, what? It, it gets worse. It gets Culture worse. Gangsters. Oh my God. Oh man. So uh, around the same time also, uh, I, I got some angelfish and those are also kind of known to be aggressive. But again, it didn't come into play because I brought them home. They were all fantastic and beautiful and wonderful. And they had ick. The store, the store sold them to me with ick. So they all like started dying. I was like, no, 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 stop it. And I had to buy, uh, I didn't realize at the time that I needed to have like a quarantine tank. So I went out and I bought one the day after I lost my first one and I moved the rest of them over and I was just like praying. I was like, come on guys, I got you medicine, got you your nice little, little place to recover. We can do this. And they didn't make it. And Aww. that sucked. But then, uh, so then I had this empty tank that was just next to the big tank. And that night, another fish was, it, it got got impostered i was like shit so i'm <laughs> trying to look up like which who could possibly be the culprit and i thought maybe it was one of these mollies that i had because it was kind of like it it was like it was being sus like it was chasing things around <laughs> kind of aggressive <laughs> the the fish that had like just died was another molly and i'm reading online that like maybe because maybe they were both males maybe they were aggressive with each other so i took the molly and i put him in the the quarantine tank that i had and the next morning he was gone. Uh, and I need you to understand. I have like, I have my setup is I've got my giant ass tank in front of my bed. And then right next to it, I have a mini fridge where I have all my, my personal drinks. And then on top of that mini fridge is where I put the smaller quarantine tank. It was just gravel and like two decorations to make him happy and water. And that's it. And I wake up and it's gone. I'm like, uh, 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 so I'm like, vented. I guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, that's that. I guess, I guess I don't have to worry about them. And a couple days later, I'm like, okay, cool. I guess it was the Molly. Cause like things appear to be fine. I, I can't find this fish anywhere. So I, uh, I don't know what happened. Like, I've moved all of my furniture. I don't see them outside the tank. I just kind of assumed that maybe my cat somehow found a way to get oh, in and, like, no, grab him. Yeah. Like, it didn't make a lot of sense because the, the, the hood of the tank didn't make sense for a cat to be able to get into. But that was all I could guess. So then, like, two days later, uh, another fish turns up dead. I'm like, fuck. So it has to be the Bala shark. And this is yeah. when I looked up and I found out that they are aggressive if they're alone and uh, mm. that that you need to have a giant a room size you have to have an aquarium to have ball of sharks oh my god uh yeah. so i'm like crap and i put him in the quarantine tank i'm like everyone else is safe now you are you're the one that's causing all these problems i know it's you and i'm trying to look up what to do with him because send him out the airlock can't... come on <laughs> <laughs> you, the can't... you kill the killer like come on <laughs> <laughs> I can't just leave him in the quarantine tank on him on his own because the quarantine tank isn't nearly big enough for him because they get to be like a foot long. Uh, Whoa. So I'm, I'm sitting there. And I'm like, well, I can't yeah. put him back in the community tank because I can't get other fish his size. I don't know if they'll let me take him back to the pet store, but I figured I, I was so stressed out that I was like, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed and I'll deal with this in the morning. And I wake up in the morning and he's gone. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Wait, like there's no, there's no body. What? No, there's no body. So, and to be clear, the molly was like an inch long, right? Uh, mm -hmm. The ball of shark was like three. Like this was a big boy. I'm like, you don't Ooh. just disappear. You don't. Where did you go? And all I could figure, I was trying to look it up online, and like I could see, like, oh, apparently they can jump. I'm like, there is a tiny, the tiniest sliver where a shark could have jumped out of this tank and got eaten by a cat. And I have to assume that's it. And, and like, and I'm still assuming like I don't know what happened to the first fish. I do not know what happened to it. What the, the heck? One, I'm just assuming <gasps> it jumped out and got eaten. Like I can't All come right. up with any other explanation. But then, but then, but then we are not done yet. Uh, oh god! <laughs> I was the like, my tank is pathetically empty now because the shark has killed so many of them and then killed himself. I guess he just jumped. Huh? So I'm like, I need, I need more fish. And I was like, I'm gonna do it right this time. And I, I have my quarantine tank. I clean it out and I'm ready. I, like I fill it back up. I get ready to get new fish and they're going to stay in the quarantine tank for a couple of days. And once I make sure that none of them have ick and that they all play nice, then they can join the community tank. And that's what you're supposed to do. So I got like uh, six new fish 
and I put them in the quarantine tank and then a few days go by and everything looks good and I go to move them into the big tank and one of them is missing I'm like uh no no this isn't happening this is not happening you know what it is it's it's one of your roommates just eating your (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. just it up and so just hungry on. yeah definitely the case i'm craving sushi right now you know what I mean? <laughs> so like one of them's gone and i'm like maybe like it was so small maybe i got lost in the gravel maybe someone ate it like i can't tell like i, I didn't know i didn't want to think about it at that point i'm like everything else is fine i'm putting them i'm putting them in the tank everything else is fine i'm putting them in the tank and I'm, I'm so stressed out over this. I know something else happened <laughs> to, make this, to make me do this. I don't remember what it is. Okay. So no, I do. I, I do remember. Sorry. No. Reagan, uh, my, we'll my, I had the, the other Molly that I thought was the. No. No, I remember. Okay. <laughs> <Reagan>. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've like train. locked this out of my memory. I'm so upset. The Molly, I did not put it into that tank to disappear. It did not disappear yet. No. I put it into the tank and then. Uh, the Bala shark killed another thing and I realized that I had the wrong one. So I put the Molly back and the Bala shark into the quarantine tank and the Bala shark was the first one to go missing. I'm so sorry. Okay. So at this point, we've only lost two fish. Uh, but that oh, original oh, at Molly- At this point? Huh? Yes. <laughs> at, at this, I, I said it like I lost three. It's only two. Uh, okay, okay. I, I realized that I came into my room and the Molly, like half of his tail was gone and it looked fuzzy. I'm like, that's weird. That's weird. Mm. And I look it up and like sometimes fish like nip at each other's fins. That happens. But apparently, like, he developed fin rot, like, on the spot. I'm like, that's not good. So oh, I'm like, no. okay, we take him, we put him in the quarantine tank. And I'm going to get him medicine in the morning because everything closes so early now. And I wake up in the morning, and that's when he disappeared. I'm like, where the fuck did you go? Where did you go? Nemo. Uh, he went Nemo. And then <laughs> he jumped into your toilet and then flushed himself. <laughs> uh, after him. It was after him. I don't remember which fish and why I did it, but someone was causing problems and I put them in the quarantine tank and that one also disappeared. And at this point I was so terrified. Like I was already so stressed out from everything else in my life, but it was getting to a point that like my room was a little messy and I hadn't made my bed yet. And like the idea of having to to put the sheets on my bed was so overwhelming that I'm like, I can't do this right now. (laughs) And I just, I was starting to get so paranoid about like, what if there's just like tons of fish like under my furniture and like they're collecting <sighs> bugs i, I was I, oh. I want to be clear this was a delusion but this was the start of there was i stayed up for two days in a row and i could not go into my room because i was paranoid and i was up for so long that i was having hallucinations reagan was, like, what the like, auditory oh. visual it was i was in hell and i called someone i'm like can you please come clean my room like, I just, I need someone to come clean my room and just look everywhere and see, can you find any fish in my room? And uh, my mom's friend came to do it for me and she checked everywhere. She's like, I can't, there's, there's nothing. I think you're fine. And she took off. I'm like, well, okay, at least my bed's made now so I can handle sitting in my bed. And I know that there's no just fish carcasses on my mm-hmm. floor. So I finally was able to sleep that night, but I called a different friend, just like a friend of mine. And I was like, hey, you come over and help me figure this out like because now I'm starting the only thing I can think like if they're not on my floor and I don't I I just I can't get my head around the cat getting into this tank I'm like there's no way that they got sucked into the filter is there oh oh, 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 no (gasps) my friend is good with like engineer stuff and also I, I I was afraid of the filter at this point I'm like this is a stupid idea there's no way but I call him and I'm like, can you take care of this? He's like, yeah. And he comes over and he like brings his gloves and he's ready to like disassemble it. He's not afraid of it. And he like, he's doing it in my bathroom so that I don't have to look at it. And he's, he's pulling it apart. He's like, I don't see anything. And then he goes, Whoa! because he like held it up to his face after he had like run water through it and it was coming through fine, but he holds it up to his face and something falls at him. He says, it almost lands in his mouth. I'm like, what is it? Uh, he goes, I think I found uh, one. And I go, uh, what? And he says, just one. I'm like, okay, it's just one fish. Okay. (laughs) All right. And he takes it and like, he, he plops it in the toilet. I'm like, that's weird though. If it's only one, where did the rest go? He's like, I have no idea. I'm like, can you describe what it looks like to me? So I know at least which one it was. He's like, I think it's gray. I'm like, none of them were gray. Uh... 
what do you mean? They were all like black and white. And we're, we're trying to like discuss like maybe they liquefy. We, we don't know what it is. Maybe it's oh, like what the old. <laughs> and I finally brave it. And I walk into my bathroom and I look at it and they assimilated. Oh, oh, this, this is a creepy pasta. This is a creepy pasta. I don't it's like that. One. This is simulated, dude. No, it's the ball of shark was definitely not in there. I still don't know what happened to him because he would not have fit in there. But all Wait, the three like, other missing fish got sucked into the filter uh, and just combined. Uh, oh, like they melted into each other? Uh -huh. Like they fused. Uh -huh. Stop, 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 stop. This is, this is, Ooh, I don't like this anymore. This is awesome. This is awesome. This went, yeah. This, this went from like, oh, this is, you know, wholesome. This is funny. This is a little sad. Now it's like, oh, God. Ooh, I don't like. that, that feels are aggressive. <laughs> I, it's... I, I bought so I, uh, I bought the filter from PetSmart too, so it's like okay, I can't trust anything from these mm -hmm. bitches. I I was I'm I'm beside myself, and I, I threw I throw the filter out. I I I'm like I have one surviving fish from all of this, and I'm I'm devastated, and I'm, I'm de devastated. I'm like this was this was supposed to bring me happiness, and all it's done is made my situation five million times worse. So now, as you've seen, I went out. I it's a goldfish tank now. They are nice. Yeah, fish. goldfish are nice. Yeah, <laughs> I've had I'm them looking, before. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking glad. at my big old goldfish, and he's giving me serotonin because I know he's a nice boy. And they're yeah. just a nice tank. Good and boys. I can rest. I can rest. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad to hear that your your uh, your COVID <laughs> pandemics is going well. Holy <laughs> yeah, moly. Yeah, we're doing great. Better than expected. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's <laughs> barely an inconvenience. I thought there was a happy ending with the goldfish. Yeah, that, that I was was ended. I mean yeah. <laughs> goldfish. Like, well, you never go that. wrong with a couple goldfish. <laughs> I, I honestly was low-key thinking about getting a cat myself, but mm -hmm. um I think it might be a bit too much work with already the plate that I have, you know. Like I don't yeah. I'm being more mindful about accepting a lot more. I think I definitely personally. got a quarantine mm -hmm. cat. I got a cat. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. I okay. love her. She's a good cat. Yeah. I, I think I need something to alleviate my isolation. But yeah. I think a cat might not be the best way to go about it. I don't think I can love it nearly as much as it probably needs, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fair. A beautiful, stupid looking, big fat goldfish. Or a hamster. <laughs> they look so No, but like again, they for open me their mouths a tube. No, the time <laughs> is the big thing. I barely have time anymore, so that's like a big thing. Have you well, goldfish and, uh, don't really need. I know. I know that. <laughs> I, I really okay. Can, have we considered getting more? Yeah. Um, Just get more time. Yeah, but look, I know goldfish are probably not as super a thing, but like, okay, I don't want to get like super depressing here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do it, Russia. I, I know. I know you're <laughs> wanting to talk about your mom, and that's like gonna <laughs> piss me off a lot, but, um. I think Corona is making me more paranoid and anxious a lot, you know? Yeah. Mm. And the, the main thing is because usually, um, so the community, like the animation community is quite big and it's got a mm -hmm. lot of branches to it, right? It's not like one big happy family. It's like there's some people who are more connected than others and it's like more branches, cousins. like like kind of. Yeah, like I, I, you know, obviously I know you guys really well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I know uh cat Zoon really well but that you guys don't necessarily have to know cat Zoon super well does that make sense like it's like mm -hmm, different yeah. branches right and mm -hmm. there are some people that i knew once in the past really well or like i used to know in passing and not so much anymore because i used to meet them at vidcon you know plus minus have a few words in some discord servers whatever Mm -hmm. And this, I, I hope this doesn't. This is gonna sound stupid. So Emily, uh, you were like, oh, I don't want to talk about it because stupid. Whatever. This is gonna sound stupid, but I don't Hell care. Yeah. So yeah. I tweeted out on a whim after like a really good game of Among Us. Right. I just tweeted out, Yo, how do I get into the professional league of Among Us? Right. Like really casual stuff. Oh, I saw Did that. That was funny. Yeah, I, I was just like memeing. You know, I don't yeah. Yeah. think. I don't, I don't actually want it to get into the professional league. I'm just memeing. Yeah. Um, and it's gonna sound stupid. I know it is, but uh, Ginger Pale then tweeted out, "You gotta get half decent first. Oh, right. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that kind of that hurt my feelings a little bit. Oh you know? no. <laughs> hey, hey, shut the fuck up, right? Like <laughs why are you laughing? Baby, it's just funny to me. Baby. baby man. Baby man. Baby man. <laughs> the main reason why it hurt me because I don't actually tie my pride with Among Us. I don't care if you make fun of my Among Us skills or whatever, right? I don't. Mm -hmm. But I think what gets me is the fact that Devin and I, whilst I consider him a good person and I do think we're friends. We don't interact that often. Uh, honestly, we haven't interacted much at all this year, to be honest. We maybe talked once or twice in a VC about RuneScape, and I think that's it. And again, I still think of him very highly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he went out of his way with the limited interaction that he had to post that, right? No, no I, I, don't... I, I get that. Because it's like, hey, it, it, whenever there's someone who like I don't really talk to very often, and the one time they do, it's to like roast me. It's like, what the fuck? It's yeah, like you, have yeah. to get, you have to play at a certain level with someone to like roast them and yeah. like right. have it be like, oh yeah, it's just playful. So it made me kind of like, and especially because he does know the offline TV people. So if I even if I interpret it in, oh, he's joking, but he also knows the skill level that's required, you know, quote unquote for professional, even though I was memeing. Mm -hmm. I was just like, man, there's so many la layers. Like he went out of his way to be rude when we don't interact that much. And I think, I don't know about that. And the other thing is, what, what's more, again, this is my paranoia now. Um, mm -hmm. I know he's active in a different, a few different circles. And the uh, one person who replied to him and was like, wow, ouch. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, yeah. that must have hurt. Was Jackadamia. And again, I love Jack a lot. He's one of the kindest people I've ever met. But because I don't interact with him, and the only time he's interacted with me is in reply to the roast of me. It's just like... I, I'm paranoid that they're like talking about me and making fun of me behind in their I mean, own wasn't, circle. What that? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. That sounded yeah, yeah, like go, it go, would go. have been like in sympathy with you. Wouldn't yeah. It? Right. Right. But again, I'm just I I I'm being paranoid here, and I understand that I am the one who is probably reading this and thinking he Devin's probably not thinking about this in the slightest, right? Yeah. Uh, but I am, and that's the thing about Corona. It's made me very like. I don't know, afraid of stepping on people's toes or stuff, right? I don't know about that. Actually, I, I feel that I feel that really hard where yeah. I've also felt like, am I being kind of paranoid? Like, because like, I feel the same way where if someone tweets something really jokey at me, but we don't know each other very well and we don't talk. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm like, are you like publicly making fun of me, but masking it as if it's like playful banter? Yeah, it's I was, Emily. Yeah. What of it? Shut up! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, I, I know. I, I feel like I feel like I've I've also felt the same way. Where like I'll be a little insecure of like the stuff I post. And, and again, I do not want anybody listening to this podcast to harass Devin or no, Jack in any yeah, no. way. Like that of is course. the last thing I want. They're I really good people. Good no, no, Reagan doesn't. Reagan doesn't. Reagan doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Reagan. Hey, hey Reagan. It. Yeah, go go harass them once you find your shark. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say right here. All right. Yeah, I said it. It's I'm pulling it out. I'm calling it. Pulling um, hurts. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Too soon. But, but yeah, but like I don't know. Like I feel like I know I'm the one being paranoid here. Um, mm. but I don't know. No, that's fair. I, that's fair. It hurt my feelings a little bit. Aww. Yeah. Aww. And I and I like again, I'm not one to just be like in the cry in the corner. So I try to DM him and be like, hey, we should play Among Us again and try to bring this up in a more casual way instead of, hey, you hurt me, you hurt my feelings, you know what I mean? Like, I don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bring that up. So, but the, he just ignored my DM. So I don't, I don't know. Oh. So yeah. Have you guys well. ever like, like, from the way that either like uh your your viewers or like people that you're just kind of like acquaintances like treat you or like you hear about them talking about you have you guys ever had like an identity crisis over it what do you mean what does that mean i don't know if i could like define it on the spot mm -hmm. uh i mean L I, like I can... okay okay i know yeah. I, i'll try to define it so uh, if, if correct me if i'm wrong but the way others perceive you is not how you perceive yourself that's that's of? how, yeah. I I can I can explain my my thought process by telling go. the story. Uh, I was go. hoping to segue clearly yeah, yeah. into it, but um, go, go. I actually this I feel weird complaining about not complaining. I'm not complaining. I feel weird 
talking about this, venting about it, because it's Go like off. if such a, a privileged problem, but I actually, uh, I had a hundred dollar tier on my Patreon that was doing like so shockingly well. Like I, I expected two people to use it cause I made it as a thank you for two people. And it like, I had a lot of people join it and it was, it was shocking. And oh, that's I, good. I, I, yeah. Good on you. Very grateful for it. And yeah. uh, my discord mods are fantastic and they, they take care of like, they know I'm busy all the time. So they just, they, they just run themselves, you know, they come up with ideas for events and stuff and they just do it. And they tell me like, Hey, we're going to do this thing. If you want to join, I'm like, Oh, cool. And just one at, at some point for the hundred dollar patrons, they're like, Hey, we thought since they're donating so much, we were going to do like a game night. Would you like to join us? I'm like, that sounds good. But like, that sounds like a really nice thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It started as just like a suggestion that someone threw at the wall. And then it became like a, a part of the perk is that, Hey, if you join this tier, then you'll have like, we'll have like a couple monthly game nights and it'll be fun. Mm. And I will be on call and we'll play games for a while. And that got so, so out of hand. Um, yeah. I think it was mostly, it was really ultimately just a couple people causing problems, but it was to the point that like, I was hearing consistently about people asking like my mods for dating advice with me. And oh, like, oh boy what? are you kidding me? oh come on and That's they're funny. like jokingly but not joking like arguing with each other over who could get me to visit them oh um, okay I, 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 that's I, gross and I, I mean like handfuls of people um i had these people who would like they drink on call and like normally that's fine so i was like haha i'll drink too and I, it was supposed to be like really fun and casual but it got to the point where like i hear someone who who's already expressed interest in me is like drinking on call. And I like panicked. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, and I had to make an excuse and be like, I, I can't be here. Um, it, it, when I mean identity crisis, I mean, it was getting to the point that I would sit in my room and I'm thinking like, these people don't even really know me and I don't understand what they see in me. And I couldn't come up with anything that I liked about myself. And it was just kind of like a pit that we were uh -huh. diving into. And it was getting like, it was getting really bad. Uh, and, and again, I wanted, it wasn't like, like everyone in the cheer was acting this way, but it was like the, the individual instances were enough that it was like freaking me out. Like to, to, at one point I heard about someone who was trying to, like, when I was going to VidCon London, I had a, a layover in Amsterdam and I heard that one of them was going to try and meet me there. I was like, I, uh, uh hello, what, yeah. where, where do they live? I just want to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk. That's so Amsterdam, gross. Apparently. The uh, gross behavior. What the really, heck? Really, 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 really gross. That's hey, man. Hey, 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 listen. People, people are gonna listen to this. If one of you are like, "Well, you know, they're shooting their shot." Nah, 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 nah. No, nah, 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 nah. no. Okay. Mm -mm. If no. you think that visiting someone out of the blue without consent, without really bringing them up, is romantic in any way, no, it's not. Mm -mm. No, it's no, not. it's terrifying. It's it's Even fucking terrifying. Even if you're like handsome or have all the money, nah, bro, that's weird as fuck. Oh, yeah, like, you know, yeah. I can't all the visit insults, you. All the insoles are gonna come out being like, well, it'd probably be okay <laughs> if they were good looking. No, it's no. creepy, gross, don't do it, especially if you don't know mm -hmm. them. What's wrong with you? Yeah, it, it was getting to the point that, like, every time I got in these calls, I was immediately like worried. I'm like, what's gonna happen next? Oh, you know? I would hear it's about not fun some anymore. Of them that, like, when the calls would end, they'd still be in call and they'd be like, insulting the other people in the tier because they're like i'm only here for reagan it's like uh, uh -uh. okay cool and i start like freaking out and i I'm, I'm notably getting like more scared of these calls and then uh more recently i got a, a complaint from another mod that like hey a bunch of people are complaining that they don't think that you want to be there and they feel like they're uh they, they feel like they're just like why are they here if you don't want to talk to them i'm like well you know maybe it's time to just stop the maybe it's it's run its course <laughs> so that frankly that's a, a kind of big blow to my income but they can be I, a fan of you but you're not a fan of them i can't do this no, anymore it's not, even, yeah. it's not even to a point where it's like the, okay it's a big blow to your income at the cost of like safety though like that mm -hmm. is not a situation in which they're planning to visit you as you're on your holiday with friends yet yeah, not nah, let's yeah. not do that. How, how's that let's not do that but yeah, identity crisis and like the 
I was so aware of what people were expecting of me. And mm -hmm. I felt like it, I, I didn't, I couldn't see any reason as to why they would, or like, I couldn't see, like, like, I didn't know how to even meet these expectations or like, I keep hearing, like, no one would tell me, like, I didn't have any people like messaging me being like, Hey, are you okay with these nights? I feel like I was talking and that you were kind of avoiding me. Like, I always hear about it from mod saying like, Oh yeah, they're complaining in all these other servers. And I'm like, ha, I, all these people have like this picture of me from something that's like freaking me out. And I, I don't know what people are thinking of me and I can't, I don't know what I'm thinking of myself anymore. I think this is like a, an extension of what unfortunately female creators have to go through. Mm -hmm. Like Emily, you've dealt with something similar to this. I don't know if you want to give this a public thing, but you've had people follow you in conventions. I just what the diet is. Oh, thanks, Rush. <laughs> yeah we're uh, that so psa for for everyone out there if a creator blocks you it's probably a sign that they're not interested in interacting with you in real life either let alone you know you know they don't want to interact with you online let alone real life right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know oh, man yeah it, it was it was really annoying because it, that's a word it, for it yeah, it was it was irritating because it was a person. I'm not gonna name them because I don't want to. Yeah, of course, was, don't, 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 yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. they they uh, in the past I had to deal with them where they definitely just kind of put me on this really weird pedestal where it's like I have to be friends with this person, and then like they did a bunch of other like creepy shit that I'm not gonna mention. Yeah, but I had like yeah. blocked them on everything. And then during Anime Expo, I think it was 2019. It was like last year, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anime Expo 2019, they saw me in like the artist alley. So I don't I don't think they were like seeking me out. I think they knew I was going to Anime Expo because I denounced it, but I don't I don't think at that moment they had been like looking for me. Who knows? Maybe they were. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But they saw me and they did this thing where they like pretended to trip in front of me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna turn around. Like, this is I <laughs> yeah. like, so I was fine with that. Yeah, I was you're, just, you're like that meme. I pretend I do not see it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I do not see it. I was with Christine, and I'm like, Christine, we gotta get out of here. I gotta, I gotta move. And as we're like, it also it's like packed, right? So it's kind of hard to like get turn to, around. To, to move around. Yeah, and as we're like moving through the artist alley, I see that he's following me. If you see me turn around from where we were. Do not pursue me. I, yeah. I don't know. I figured that'd be like basic common sense, but I was like getting really freaked out. And I was clearly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. And then yeah. the, I think his, his like dad or brother, I think it was his brother. It was some relative. Yeah, but they were like, hey, and my brother really wants to take a picture with you. Is that okay? And like my stupid ass should have, should have been like, no. But you feel it's so pressured a, on this yeah, spot. Because yeah, because I'm on the spot and I don't want to like look like a dick. So I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And I'm just like really uncomfortable. But I'm like, if I take this picture, he'll go away. It's it's it'll be that easy. Mm -hmm. and then, of course not. Of course yeah. not. That easy? And then the the following day, I made a tweet where I was like, hey, I'm in this area with like some of my friends, just like a impromptu like meet and greet, right? Mm -hmm. It was on mm -hmm. my it was just on my Twitter. And guess who shows up? the the same guy uh, and i'm so uncomfortable because i'm like if i have you blocked on twitter like yeah. clearly you're one of the people i didn't want to see my post and show up but they showed up i was like getting really uncomfortable and like i'm not i don't think of myself as a very anxious person but like in that moment i think it's the most anxious i'd felt in like a while mm -hmm. And Christine had like walked up to him because she 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 recognized him. She was like, "You gotta leave. Like, you gotta get out of here." That's the that that question too. Like, did he have an alternative account that he was just waiting but for? I don't, yeah, like, I, like, I like, don't know. But did you remember <laughs> what he asked you? He was just like, "Do you remember the no, weird yeah, stuff yeah, I did?" <laughs> yeah. He was like, "No," because I remember I I did the thing where I like I'm not even gonna acknowledge that I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He was like, "Emily, you don't remember me." And I'm like, why you gotta why gotta be weird, dude? Like 
<laughs> and I'm like, like <laughs> yeah, I'm like, sorry, no, I don't. Who are you again? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Not, and yeah. I remember, like, after that, he had made a video just talking about, like, his experience at Anime Expo, and he put featuring Emerichu in the title. Bro! Oh, yeah, he's like, and, nice. Emerichu, and it was all cool, and I left a comment where I was like, hey, it was really gross and creepy of you to follow me around at Artist Alley after I've made it clear that I, I don't want you speaking to me. Do not approach me in public ever again. Thanks. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then he sent me, like, this lengthy email. Oh, but, oh my god, bro! The uh, the reason I got scared is because like <laughs> Emily and I, you know, we got a very jovial relationship as friends, right? Like we're mm-hmm. very, I'd say, open to each other, very emotional, very much like you know, good friends as as you should be. Mm-hmm. I have never received a message that scared me more than Emily saying, "Hey, Maz, like he he like he you they I know the full name of this person, so like they're here. I need help. I'm here at this location. I have never panicked so much." at an anime expo i was like i need to go there right now Mm -hmm. like this is a bad Mm -hmm. this is bad you know like yeah Mm -hmm. i remember we even called each other like where are you i was like i'm here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it was like scary i really did not like that at all dude yeah man and i feel like i feel like again reagan this is like an this is like unfortunate side effect of what uh female creators have to go through and not only just like you know female creators but female creators who are attractive and extroverted i think that's like a really combination for people uh simping right like you that explains emerichu you know and and well i think you <laughs> are also <laughs> Reg- <laughs> oh, really? reagan listen listen reagan, this, this is the reason why i married uh, why i married and divorced you okay reagan all right <laughs> 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 you thought i was that pretty much <laughs> <laughs> What, did you think I divorced you because what? Like I thought you weren't pretty enough anymore. How does that I work? I let myself go during the pandemic, and you divorced wow. me. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Now she gets fish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a crazy cat lady rush, except it's like a crazy fish lady. It's just crazy. <laughs> lady. Lady, hell yeah. Cool. No, but I'm really sorry that you guys have to go through that. That's like honestly terrifying experiences. I would rather yeah. no one go through that. You know. But. I'm, I'm sorry, scared of. Like Laddie, you've had to go through some really weird people. I think like Laddie, because you're not extroverted, you get the quieter weird people. You get like the really. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a little naive too because yeah. I like to <laughs> I like to assume that everyone just like has good intentions at first yeah. when I first meet them. Yeah, but like then then like after the fact, I'm like, oh wait, no, I think this is something's wrong here, <laughs> and I haven't. I haven't had so many like YouTuber experiences because I'm not like super big and I don't, I'm not like a girly girl. So I'm not like what most people would define as attractive. So I'm just like, you know, but like it's been like friends at college and well, you know, friends at college who like (laughs) take it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I've been, you know, No, I think I I can think of one or two people who have been very bizarre to you in the YouTube sense. Yeah. 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 I, like, I don't know i block things out sometimes too I don't yeah remember. okay i won't i won't remind you then i won't remind you I'll just okay let it, let it slide you can, you, you can warn me about who so i know maybe in the future because i am naive yeah. but no no i think i don't think naive is the right word you're well-intentioned you think the best of people and i think that's a quality that you know that's why you're as loved and beloved as you are laddie is because you are very positive and a good vibe um <laughs> But again, there are also not nice people who will take advantage of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it's bizarre how far the obsession can go. Because I've not once, but twice with two different, like, friends. I've had a situation where somebody was, and I feel uncomfortable saying this, but like, somebody was obsessed enough with me that, like, they went to a friend of mine who, by no means, like, they're not YouTubers or anything. They they are, They have, like one of them was like back when tumblr was big and one of them like was on twitter but like my personal irl friends who aren't on youtube like they went from being obsessed with me to like latching on to these friends and like, because they didn't end with you right it's not even with me like they they suddenly like got obsessed with my friend oh no joke about that one chief <laughs> 
hey chief is that good no man it's not like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you resort to going to like the the person's irl friends you're, you're maybe a, don't you're a whole yeah episode. maybe don't yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know i'm not i'm not a, a girl but you know i think <laughs> stalkers and doxing i think Jaden has to go to the worst of it you know again oh my goodness. can i say when uh what what is pat What's his channel? Pat. Life Noggin. Uh, Life Noggin. Life Noggin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, Under and, like, circle. I saw the thumbnail, and it was like, why we get obsessed with people, and it was Jaden in the thumbnail. Like, I felt sick. Like, like yeah. I, I love Jaden. I've, I've, she's, she's real fun, and uh, she. It's just, I, like, I saw her there, and like, I remember, like, I've had a couple conversations with her about things similar to this, or like, conversations with like people who are friends with her, who are like, oh yeah, uh, I asked her this for you, and she, she had this experience when like things were really starting to freak me out, mm-hmm. and. For one thing, it, it made me feel sick because like seeing her in the thumbnail, I was like that not not that I'm like blaming Pat or anything. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That choice mm-hmm. was so intentional. And yeah, like it was an intentional business thing. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So intentional. And like to the extent like people are obsessed with Jaden that like I've got servers with my friends in it that like people that I'm not necessarily friends with, uh, but like I'm friendly with, they they make jokes about people being obsessed with Jaden's mom. God, yeah. I don't like that it goes mm. that far. Yeah. But yeah. Also, <sighs> no, I, I, I don't leave it is, there. It's like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Just leave, leave it there for... I, I think, like, I'll just conclude Jaden's thing with one. I think Jaden's in the worst situation because she is very introverted, you know, mm-hmm. and conventionally attractive to many, and quirky in the videos which i think a lot of people who are online tend to be introverted and so when they see this quirky girl who's introverted and you know quote unquote cute and soft they're like oh i can take care of you know what i mean it it, it, it kind of brings up those kind of people like i can take care of her kind of mm-hmm. feel vibe mm-hmm. right uh, i'm i met this youtuber like really popular youtuber and i was like yeah i'm friends with james and jaden it just came up in conversation and i was explaining a vidcon story and they're like oh i i'm such a simp for jaden oh, like, yeah. oh, oh, i gotta go actually <laughs> yeah. yeah and then like it's it's a bad vibe because again if you were to ask me who is the animator who is probably most different from on-camera presence i'd probably say jaden jaden is very different from on-camera versus off-camera yeah. mm-hmm. right um so when people us- say i yeah what's up during the Among Us videos, people would comment, "Why is they? Why is everyone swearing? Why is it?" And I'm like, "Guys, that's who we're we adults. Are. Yeah, we're a yeah. Guy, not three. Dude, she's a sailor. Okay, yeah. she's a sailor. All right. <laughs> like, uh, again, not to say anything against. Them, I'm just saying when people say, "Oh, I love Jaden. I, I wish we could meet him. I think we'd be good friends." I was like, I don't think you know her yeah. in at all to say that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. the parasocial relationship is worse. Like with me, I am pretty similar to how I am on stream and camera, right? Like I'm very yeah, much one to one. So if you were to become friends with me and think like you can be friends with me, I don't blame you because that is just what my thing is. But with Jaden, the parasocial nature kind of gets really bad because it's just like you think you know her, but you have no idea, right? Like you mm-hmm. really think that. And because of her nature of being quiet IRL and the fact that her body language is super off, like she made a video about her, her staring not being correct, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's been a lot of situations IRL where people think that they're much closer to Jaden than they than they actually yeah. are. To, sometimes even to the point where they're like, "Oh, she's obviously trying to hit on me," and it's like, "No, no, 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 she's not. No. no, she's not." Yeah, <sighs> no. And I feel like again, it, female creators definitely deal with the worst of it. I was talking to uh, Tierzu. Patch, mm-hmm. uh, you mm-hmm. know, really cool, really, really good guy. Oh, I love Jason. He's, he's, really he's nice. an amazing guy. I've been playing RuneScape with him. Cannot say enough good things about him. But <laughs> um, he was explaining, like, I was, he was like, yeah, how, how's your fan base in the community? I was like, oh, I think we're decent. Why? He's like, oh, because I think you guys have the creepiest community in the world. I was like, huh? Why, why do you say that? <laughs> I agree. I, I agree. And they, and he was like, he was like, well, dude, the amount of people that I get in my DMs asking about Jaden. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot oh, that that yeah. happened. Yeah, oh. it, it was such a normal thing to me that that so many people come into my DMs asking about you guys that I just like, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's not normal. Yeah. My bad. There's, there is something about the fact that our avatars are drawn that yep. especially makes people feel like they have a right to us to the mm-hmm. extent that like you you tell them personally, you're like, hey, here I am talking to you, asking you, can you not do that? Because that's me, another person. Mm-hmm. And they go like, like, this is an actual conversation I had with someone. He, like, I told him, like, please don't treat me or, like, 
present me this way in front of your audience. I don't like that. It freaks me out. Yep. And yep. he went, you know, I, I, I'm really sympathetic to that, especially since I've got a girlfriend. I really understand how hard it can be to be a girl online. I'm like, so you won't do it? And he yep. goes, oh, no, I'm still going to do it. But I'm like, so what you learn? Are you kidding? Wow. 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 Well, like, to my face. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 a yikes moment. And mm -hmm. it relates back to like, I remember when I was like, when Rush, I think I was talking to you, Rush and Emily, I, I kept saying and I think Emily, you joined in as well. We had this entire thing where we were like, um, when we were smaller, it had not blown up yet. We were like, Oh, I can't wait until people make fanfic of us. You know what I mean? Like we were mm -hmm. like, oh. I can't wait. That's like proof that we're big when people make fanfic. Uh, <laughs> and then they started making much worse things. And I was like, Oh, uh, like Emily had like a million made of her and I only had like a handful, but I was like, oh, <laughs> never mind. I take it right back. I regret mm. saying those words. hundred like, percent. The thing is, I, pr I I get that rule 34 is, am I allowed to mention Exist. it? I, I uh, get that the thing. No, yeah, go for it, go for it. It's just the, the way the internet works. So like, mm. I, I personally, I don't really care that much when it happens. Yes. But it's, it, I, I, I get so annoyed when, like artists rule 34 artists go out of their way to just straight up ignore if a creator says like hey i'm not comfortable with that can you not do that the, it's how hard is it to just find someone else to draw you know or yeah. like you'll you'll have a creator who's like here you can do you can like lewd my ocs that's fine but please don't lewd this like persona that represents yeah. me and literally and, like, literally yeah, find and, some and, like, fictional characters and, to write and, about, and please. Yeah, yeah. They'll be like, "Well, you not wanting me to do it makes me want to do it even more." And it's like, oh, "That's, that's, like, that's uh, kind of rapey. Yeah. You're kind of rapey." <laughs> oh yeah, that's, 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 that's something else, disgusting. Something else that really bothers me about the Rule Thirty Four community, especially like for story time artists, like it's it's the the. <laughs> For example, that video that uh, Senior Pillow made about the Storytime community, like, mm -hmm. I, I'm i neutral about that video, you know, like, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I was mentioned in it in a positive way. Uh, mm -hmm. Cool, I guess. But like, he included, like, as part of the thing, part of the joke was including the the porn artists for the Storytime animators and being like, oh, really? look, these people in the community. Yeah, I see a lot of people include when they're doing like, group fan art for just story time animators they include the notable r34 artists and it's uh -oh. like <laughs> do mm -hmm. you have to <laughs> i i didn't i didn't know that at all i had yeah. no idea no yeah that's that's mm. there and it's like i don't feel good about that <laughs> yeah i don't feel good about that mm -hmm. yeah mm. Ooh. Uh, it's, i'm it's glad that like fucking weird it's yeah. weird, like, when it, for me, I guess this is just my stupidness, but, like, you know, I think I talked to Rush about this earlier, which is just, like, if it's online, I don't care, right? Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. care. Like, as in, like, it, I can disconnect from it, right? Like, I, yeah, can yeah. I can close my computer, and I can walk away, <laughs> and I can go <laughs> on with my real life. I was right? cyberbullying real. Just close your computer. <laughs> just close your eyes. <laughs> I do not see it. I do not see it. For me, it, it, like, the, you know, I, but I, obviously it is problematic that they're doing this and I hate the crap out of it. But it get, to me, it gets really annoying. Like when Reagan, you're having to tell me that they're going to ambush you. And Emily, you're literally getting followed by these guys. And even in smaller scale, like not just like in a creepy way, I think like in VidCon, I can't, I don't want to use names here. But at VidCon, Laddie Rush and I, we were like hanging out um, with a bunch mm -hmm. of people. <laughs> and fans were following us. And they kind of invited themselves on mm -hmm. like the cool lunch sessions that we were going on. And it's like, mm -hmm. I, we love you. We do. But we're not friends with you. Like, yep. we can't go. We c You can't come with us. Like, I, I don't know how to say this in a more clear way. You can't hang out with us because we don't know who you are. You know it's, what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, it's like you, you went up to a stranger because, like, they're strangers to us. We may yeah. not be strangers to them, but, like, you wouldn't eat lunch with a stranger, like, like that, you know? It's just weird. I, yeah. Freaking people always messaging me 
on Discord, yo, can we be friends? I'm like, I don't get out of here. <laughs> Did you have that one guy ask you, like, hey, can we come to the beach day? And Dude. you're like, oh. The one guy was like, "Yo, it's been going to happen. Um, when's the when's the next BJ? I'm just curious. I'm just just for reasons. I'm like, listen, you're not my friend. I'm not your friend. You don't know me. I don't know you. You're not invited. Mm. Very harsh, but very you know, very yeah. Shameful. And like, you hate to be the person who's like, I don't really know you. Sorry, because then you don't want them to turn yeah. around and be like, oh, you think you're too good for me? Like, oh, I love doing that. <laughs> oh no, I'm like, I'm I'm right. just, I'm not your friend. <laughs> I sent him a video of like this guy ranting about like YouTubers are not your friends, and I just sent him that. And like, I'm not trying to be friends; I'm just trying to make conversation. I'm like, your conversation is trying to get me to hang out. I'm not hanging out. I that's why I, I like can respect it. that, Rush. I respect that you're so blunt about it. I <laughs> wish I could be like that. It's even harder, like in person, because it's not something you can like think about. Like if you get it mm -hmm. in a DM, but if it's in person, where it's like a fan trying to follow you to like your Dude. lunch spot, it's so much harder, and it's. Mm -hmm. It's, oh my gosh, I, yeah. I remember at Anime Expo, because sometimes, like, it's really not a big deal, mm -hmm. sometimes, but at the same time, it's, I didn't invite you, why are you following me, but I don't want to come off as rude, like, mm -hmm. there was this one, I'm not going to say who, there was this one person, who is, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's, there, there was one person, uh, who I was, like, vaguely familiar with, like, it was, a, it was another creator, in like a completely different community we talked like once i think because mm -hmm. we were on like one podcast episode together it wasn't this one it's not vc podcast reagan is it you reagan is it yeah. you no yeah. wait wait Maz. Yeah. reagan <laughs> after you divorced the you evidence. went after emily yes. <laughs> reagan, you uh, know, he's hot as hell are you kidding they, i remember <laughs> they had messaged Damn, me send pics. they messaged me on twitter and they were like Hey, if you're at AX, let's meet up. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. because I hadn't met them in person before. So I figured it yeah. was going to be like a, hey, it's nice to finally meet you. Hope you're having a good, a good AX. And then you like separate, right? Because I was with like mm -hmm. a group of friends, like my IRL mm -hmm. friends. And I met up with them and I was like, hi, it's nice to meet you. And they're like, nice to meet you too. Blah, 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 blah. We like had a small conversation. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. they were like, so where are you headed? And I'm like, oh, well, I was going to go to a uh, artist alley with my friends and like shop around. And he's like, cool, I'll come with. And I'm like, oh. oh. <laughs> and I'm like, uh. uh. Pikachu face, Pikachu face. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so he's walking with us. I, I don't know his first name. I only know him by his username. But we, he was oh, walking. I remember, I remember the guy. And, yeah, you remember him, right? He was walking with us. And my friends were like, who the fuck is this? And I'm like, I just met them. They were like, what? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I know them from like Twitter. Like, that's all. And they're like, oh, OK. And it was just really awkward. And then. I remember uh, as we're walking, I'm like, what made them want to meet up with me? Because we don't talk. Like, we have, we've only had one brief conversation before this, like, months yeah. ago. Why do they want to meet up with me all of a sudden? And then as we're walking, he was like, oh, so I saw that you were in, like, Domix's new video. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm like, I see what this uh, is. Uh, <laughs> I see what this is. And then what solidified it was when I met up with Moz, Jom, and, like, a whole uh, bunch of other people. And he started handing out his business card. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like yeah. bro, this isn't yeah. a networking moment. I'm yeah. with friends Ooh. right now. And Literally, like... like it was the very first time I had met Didus and like, uh, you know, we were having a bro moment so and Didus? in the middle, he interrupts and goes like, oh, so my name is a uh, moon. It was a patch. And uh, this, this is my <laughs> business card. I'm like, hey, man, do you not see the blue haired motherfucker next to me, man? This is my friend. All right. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Don't interrupt. He was, he was acting so weird that Moss straight up like pulled me aside and was like, is this a creepy guy that's following you? And yeah, I'm like, I was. I'm like, no, this it's is not. another one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, like, I'm still not that comfortable, you know? And like, yeah. he was just asking everybody what they did and like trying to network clearly. But I'm like, yeah. this is so embarrassing because I like brought him basically. And he, everyone's yeah. like, who the hell is this? Aww. And then finally, I was like, I broke away. I'm like, hey, I got to go to my Airbnb. Like, I'm getting kind of dehydrated. I'm a change. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. Uh -huh, uh, let's, me. let's meet up again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> without, without me? <laughs> but yeah, he's like, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow. And I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 Just the over -famil -fam familiar, familiar, fa famil, fa fa Nailed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. Go, 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 go for it one more time, one more time. Familiar. 
Yeah. Familiarity. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Not, not to not to say that like we can't be friendly with each other if we meet for the first time. Like mm-hmm. I don't want anyone to get the impression that I'm like unapproachable. But in any he way. like imposed yeah. on your plans. See, at yeah. the very least, you, you know. Yeah. Ask- yeah. It- <laughs> If I was to say, like, which of the animators are very approachable from a fan's perspective, because to say that every single animator in the community will meet the fans the same way, it's, you know, it can't be true, right? There's just not, Mm -hmm. there are some people who are more open than others. I'll meet I, I any am not one of one you. Of them. God. Yeah, Reagan is very like you know very like, guards up, but understandable because you just heard exactly why <laughs> the guards yeah. are off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was so under- jealous at VidCon Maz because like someone why? would walk up to you when we were walking, and mm-hmm. you like immediately like, synergize with them, and you you didn't miss a beat. And I was like, God, that's so cool. And I was just I I was so excited to go to VidCon because I wanted experiences like that. And other than I'm. I'm a lot shyer in person right off the bat. Like mm-hmm. I warm up, I warm up to extroverted, yes. but like I start yes. off shy. Yeah. But yes. other than like most, like I, I was kind of like floundering with a lot of experiences of talking to people. Like most of the people approaching me were already giving me the vibes of like, you, you are wanting something here. And also I, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> No, no, I get you. It's like, again, th- that th- what you saw of me doing that is not skill. It's like something that I had to develop. Like uh, in the very first VidCon I went to, VidCon Australia, the very, very first one, James came to Australia just to hang out because, you know, we're lovers. And so, um, <laughs> and no, he's got GIF now. So sorry, guys. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, uh, but b- b- basically he mentored me. Like he doesn't say this out loud. I always say that out loud because he mentored me step by step as to what to do. And I always think of myself as a very confident person who's able to talk to anyone, but a fan interaction, I was so f- confused and really out of my depth. I was like, ah, uh, hi. And the, the the very first one or the second one was crying to see me. And that was a difficult one. I was like, how do I make you like, I, why do I make you cry? Am I that ugly? I don't know what to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and so like he mentored me. He's like, hey, ask for their name. Ask for their like what they're doing here. Ask if they had a good time. It like, gave me like a step by step on how to be a good person. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> And that's the only reason why I was able to do that, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm just, I, I guess this is just like a PSA for people listening. Like, if you're going to meet up with a creator, first of all, just kind of know if they're keen to meet up and how to meet up with them. Like, again, with me, if you you can meet up with me in the most meme way and I'll roll with the punches, right? That's just how yeah. I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, but generally, just be courteous. Like, imagine it like you are meeting a random stranger, right? Would you go up you to them are. and be like, because yeah, you are, you are a random stranger. You may know them, but they're just strangers to you. So you go up to them and if you want to meet with them, just, hey, what's up? I watch your content, like it a lot. I'm like, yeah, thanks. And then, you know, make it a normal conversation. If you run up with a camera saying, yo, what's up, mayonnaise, man? I'm going to be like, all right, here we go. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, <laughs> it's like a, and I'm like, ah, so this is an, uh, this kind of conversation, huh? All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's also and I like, just go tiny, tiny nitpick, but like go off. it's it's for for people to understand. You you know of them, you don't yeah. know them. Yes, mm-hmm. there's literally no way for you to know if if this person like even if they choose to be genuine. Like I was listening to something earlier today. It's like a lot of creators if they're being fake with their personality, that's not necessarily an insult. That's a, you can do that to protect yourself. If somebody's going to critique your personality and it's a character, then it's fine. So Mm -hmm. you don't know them. And if they are being genuine, you still don't know them. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think like, that's what uh, Emily and I have talked about this a lot in which, um, is it fake if you show only a part of your personality on your YouTube channel? Because um, Emily, you know, on your YouTube, you're very, very wholesome, very like, oh, pink, I'm a princess. Pinky. Well, I, um, I, half, I half blame that on the fact that while my YouTube channel was initially growing, I was still working with kids who found out about my channel. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes sense. So the transition yeah. to like, to your go current. From, yeah, I'm like still, I guess I'm still in like that transition. Right, right, right. I'm show again, more of my I'm not criticizing it at all. I think it like I think the answer is like same as Sultan. 
Uh, mm. Every one of us have met Sultan. We know how Sultan. Yeah. <laughs> I miss Sultan so, so much. Oh my god, my brother. Okay, he is honestly my brother. I love him to bits. I miss, I miss you. Him <laughs> too. I'm literally yeah. knitting a for him right now. Right, and so like again, uh, we all know who how Sultan is IRL, right? Yeah. But on his videos, he's like, the door of darkness opens up, and my love. <laughs> <love's up." laughs> <laughs> Okay. Like that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're listening, get fuck nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it, again, it's uh, but the thing is that is a part of Sultan. He loves narrative yeah. stories like that. And same with you, Emily. You do like pink, and you're like a little little. You know, you like dainty things, and it's not a lie. It's just a part of your personality. You know what I it, mean? It just passes through a filter. Yeah, of course it does, mm -hmm. and so. I think people just need to be like, hey, you don't really know them. Please treat them with respect. That's it. The, the oh, thing yeah. that weirds me out when, like, I don't, I, I can't blame kids for, like, being taken aback if they hear me curse yeah, or, like, yeah. they see, hear me say yeah. something crude. Because, like, they're a kid. They sort of kind of expect all of their role models to sort of behave similarly to, like, how they view them in video form. What mm -hmm. weirds me out is if, like, a grown-ass man hears me make like a like a crude joke and they're like how do you even know what that is hmm? and it's like <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, I'm 25 years old <laughs> I, hey rush yeah. hey rush you, you keep talking about a chocolate starfish what's the <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what it is <laughs> i think i like made a joke once where i called someone a bottom it was on twitter it was a long nice. time ago I but remember I that. You know, I, I, made, I made that joke. I, I, I yeah. remember it's us arguing about with you because you're like a bottom energy and you were making fun of me. That I was like, yeah, sure, Emily, sure. And Emily. someone was like, Emily, how do you know what that is? Oh. And I, I, I like, remember it like a, that. It looks like a grown adult, and I'm like, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how sheltered do you think I am? Yeah, that's Jeez. a that's a that's a bit of a that's a cringe moment right there. That's yeah. where it's like you clearly you clearly have this idealized image of who i am as a person yeah yeah but that's, and it, that's like does it reality. But, yeah but guys what's up fans can eventually become friends as well yeah yes. of course absolutely yeah i i, I really want to like uh, i was going off to rush about this yesterday <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, but i think kidding. like okay some yeah go off rush I was just on that kid with the beach day. It was like, ah, when, when yeah. were I invited, basically? Yeah. So, like, Wait, that that person who invited, who asked Rush to invite him to beach day, later then complained, like, oh, my God, I can't believe, like, they don't even want to be friends with me. Like, why not? Ugh. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is why. So, to be, if you're a fan of someone and you want to be friends with them, you just got to go about it in the right way. And the right way is treat them like strangers and build friendships naturally, right? Yeah. If you would never go up to a friend. Imagine you're at school and you see a friend circle and you're like, I want to be part of that friend circle. If you go up to one person and go, yo, which party are you going to? I'll be there. It's like, no, that's not how you do it. Don't go. Don't do that. That's really bad. You know, yeah. I don't yeah. like Literally one of my best friends right now. Uh, yep. I met them yes. just a couple months ago. And like, we've spent so much time together in person since then. I only met them a couple months ago because I tweeted mm -hmm. out. I was like, I'm looking for Lolly for my Animal Crossing village. Does anybody have her? And this person responded and they're like, yeah, I've got her moving out. Uh, I'll give her to you. And I just went to their island to pick her up and we were like joking around in DMs about who had more flowers on their island. Uh, it was me, by the way. But <laughs> from it, that was it. And we just kind of like talked a little bit. And I was like, huh, this person's kind of funny. And then I was yeah. working on my next video and I was doing my patron for the outro and I went, ah, in it. That's like I had no idea. I thought what, that what maybe they you, were like you, passively you got, going. I have no idea. You got, oh, oh they, so they were your patron. Okay, okay. Yeah, they were a patron. I, I literally, I, I, for all I knew, they just like passively followed me on Twitter because they liked one art thing that I posted. I had no idea that they were a patron or anything. And yeah. we are, we are best friends. Right. Oh, yeah. Like, people, people don't know this, but PJ, like, uh, is PJ one of my closest friends? Yes. I don't think anybody mm -hmm. can discount, like, PJ and I, dynamic duo, right? Good friends. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. She was, she started off as a fan. Yep, yep. People mm -hmm. don't know this. Right? Wait, really? She, yeah. 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 She was a yeah. fan of our, like, little friend group. <laughs> yeah. We were in the <laughs> kindergarten back when, and she made fan art of us. And she watched our content and was like, oh, we, I like your stories. And I literally, because of how good uh, the fan art it was, I messaged her and I was like, hey, join us. Let's have a chat. 
And then I brought her into the group and I said, oh, sorry, I need to go. And I just abandoned her in there after bringing her in. <laughs> um, and then we had more chats and we just clicked. And again, yeah. that's how it works out, right? Like it just happens you, naturally. You can't force yourself yeah, to be friends with go- someone else. Exactly. Or, yeah. yeah. Like uh in my in my server, my Discord server, like I have a number of people who just started out as friends who like have become like really good not as friends, as fans, who have become like really good friends of mine. And I'm just like, oh yeah, we vibe, it's fun. Yeah. But it's just like it, it just happened over time. It wasn't forced or anything. We just ended up talking a lot and it just happens sometimes. But yeah. when you're like when you're constantly like, hey, hi, hi, and it's just like, Ugh, hi. It, it's like, like the entirety of the Nunu squad, like which yeah. is one of the squads we play with, I were fans, and Nunu now they're like literally some of the closest friends, right? <laughs> yeah. Like love best bits. friends. I like yeah, I visit yeah. Nunu like occasionally sometimes. Well, I used to before. You stole her dog. Yeah, I stole a dog. <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> And she just started out as a fan, and it was like. I think that's the thing. Uh, there's a lot about parasocial relations we can talk about, but that's the number one thing. If you really want to know us in a natural way without being creepy, just think of it like a regular group of friends you see in school. You would never go up to them and be like, "When are you hanging out?" You would never go up and be like, mm-hmm. "Hey, I love your stuff. Uh, can I just like be your friend?" Don't ever ask to be a friend. That's like the biggest turnoff. Okay, yeah. don't ask to be a friend. No one ever asked to be a friend. If you we're not in elementary to... school, yeah, yeah. like, like, hey, oh, we're to gonna... be back in elementary school. <laughs> like, uh, the rule is, if you have to ask, the answer is probably no. Yes. Yeah. 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 Be hey, confident. Come on, do you want to be friends? No. <laughs> <laughs> I answered right, for no. him. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Laddie's my bodyguard, actually. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think like just treat like a regular group of people like yeah. you never go into it gung-ho cannonball become friends with everyone uh, just like think about how you became friends with regular your own friends i like mm-hmm. you know how i f- became friends with each and you i met laddie through tabs because tabs introduced me to laddie and rush because i was talking mm-hmm. about anime yeah. Um, Rush yeah. and I then talked about anime for the next two hours, and that's how we became kind of like friends. there's no there's before. no secret cheat code on like how to no. be friends yeah. with us. It's just be know. normal. It, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Inter- interact on Twitter, interact on social media, interact on our Discord servers. Um, it provide provide your input. I I know all of my regulars on my Twitch streams. I have a mm-hmm. I have a server for my regular people. I have a server for my Super Martians. I know. Every one of the people who interact regularly mm-hmm. and I play exactly. with them and they're great, you know, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. we're not unapproachable. Yeah. It's just, you need to do it in the right way. If you ever say, I'm going to visit you in Amsterdam, I'm going to catch you. And like, no, bro, uh, no, 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 you're not, you're far. Not. Uh. take 10 steps back. Reagan's taken. She's mine. All right. Like, like, come on, <laughs> get out of here. Um, I don't know. I feel like there's so much we can say about that kind of stuff but yeah. we're we've been chatting for two hours now actually Wait. the longest podcast i want to talk about one last thing okay go go What's go off, okay i my mother is crazy oh go off. Yep. yeah go do it do it rush, 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 had, rush had this moment yeah go off you have the floor for years because i'm the artist in the family you know how it is if you're artist in school yep. all the school kids are like yo yo i'll give you like my milk carton if you draw this sketch for my class I'm like all right whatever milk yeah, carton you a milk carton Oh, dude, I, I fucking, <laughs> every, like, day I would have, like, a thousand milk cartons in my bag. I'd just sip them over the period. It was great. It was awesome. <laughs> Anyways, um, so my mom over the years, she's like, oh, you're great, whatever. She always tried to get me to do free art for her. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'll do some free art here and there, whatever. And her one friend, like, I'm the town artist, and so everyone comes to me. And her friend wanted Jesus holding their dog because it just passed away. I'm like, oh, that's cute. They're like, hand-drawn sketch. I'm like, oh, it's going to be detailed work. I'm busy next two months with a lot of backed up projects. And they're like, we want it for Christmas. I'm like, uh-uh, too much. Um, mm-hmm. my de- I have too much on my plate. I would say $300, $400 for that big of a sketch. It's like it's like 10 by 15 sketch, realistic. I'm like, all right, this is at two, two, $300, 400 And they're like, oh, it's too too much for me, more for my, too rich for my blood. I, I can't. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So whatever, day passes. I go to the club with my mom like, just for, for like whatever. Just That's where I meet her once a week or whatever. She's, she's drunk a little bit, a little tipsy. Yeah. And uh, well, she's sitting there next to me and she's like, You're too good for us now? I'm like, What? <laughs> she's like, You're too good and famous online with all your projects that you don't want to do people's art anymore in town for and you do it for so expensive. I'm like, 
I have things backed up, mother. I can't just do it for free and stuff. I was like, but you, mother, <laughs> <laughs> mother. And she's like, but you too good. I'm like, mom. And she's like, you don't even give me free art anymore. You used to give me free art. I'm like, yeah, for like banquets or whatever. She would do like banquets for like charity or whatever. And she was like, oh, mm -hmm. it'd be sweet if you did a painting. And then so I did like a crappy painting. I'm like, here, take it. I don't care. It's free. Get away from me. And I, I made her this dog drawing one time. Her dog passed away. It was, it, was, it was not the greatest, but it was free. And it was nice. It was watercolor. I thought it was nice. And she was like, it was terrible. You di didn't take your time oh. on it. Oh, uh, I, and it's hanging on my wall. And it's ugly. I look at that every day. I'm like, mother. Oh. Why would you say so that? Mean. Yeah, and that's, she was that's like talking not... about art and stuff. And I'm like, and my, my stepdad steps in. He's a very like manly man. Very quiet. Very like hunting kind of guy, right? He does construction. Mm -hmm. And he just shares with my mom. And he's like. I think Jordan, his art is worth more than two, two, three hundred to four hundred for that art piece, and he should get paid more for what he does. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, oh, oh. I was like struck in by my stepdad. I'm like, oh, thank you, stepdad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I stared at her, and I was like, do you not respect me as an artist, as your son, for ye 21 years of putting hard work into art? You think I just give my art for free? And she was like, she got a little sad, and it's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah. And then she tried to bring it up again. I'm like, no, I never. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we don't stand. We yeah, don't so. stand that. I think, like, I'm sorry to hear that, Rush. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Friends uh, and or I, family asking for free art or cheap art is not cool. I don't like... Mm -hmm. I, I think that's not cool. Like I, like, I think you should... Even now, like, I've talked to you, Rush, about hiring you for a few things that I'm doing. And never once do I think, like, oh, I, you know, you're my best friend. You should do it for free. No, bro. No, like, hey, yeah. Yeah. It's like for voice chat, but again, you're like one of the, the, the hosts here, right? Like that's yeah. the only thing that you know, we're like, we got to work on this stuff. But every time I think of you for like actual professional work, I never once say like, it's going to be for free. I always say like, how much money you want? How much money? Right? Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. that's, the thing. that's how it should be. We treat each other yeah. like Because uh, right? we, we respect each other as friends and as artists. And yeah. you would if hope you that do... like, oh, sorry, continue. No, go off, go off, go off. I said, and you would mm -hmm. hope that like your own parents would would value your work right and yeah not. yeah uh, like, and my I mom will like, brag about my art to everyone at the club and stuff and they'll mm. like want it for like cheap and i'm like mm. yeah you could there's only so much family discount friend discount you can do you yeah mm -hmm. and if you do a favor like if you make something for another person you can't ask for that you just happens like you know yeah. I, i've made artwork or stuff for friends and pj's mm -hmm. done the same and all of us mm -hmm. have done the same right like mm -hmm. but no one asks to do it we just kind of do it you know like yeah. as a favor like mm -hmm. i've asked reagan to help out with a thumbnail or two and i don't ask you know i don't ask for payment it's like hey uh, as a friend can you provide me your input right i do charge uh, a lot though <laughs> yeah she is expensive that's why i just married her it was cheaper to marry her than um but like again i think that's one issue the other issue that i really resonate with is i'm not so fortunate to have parents who are super proud of what i do they don't they still don't kind of support what i do they really like the last video about racism and brown people like they like that one but oh, they still they're still not very supportive of it and so the to hear that you know you've been doing this for years now rush like actual almost 10 total of creative endeavors right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so to hear that your mom is saying that, like, you know, oh, you're too good for a da 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 da, da bro, show support, man. Like, right. it's yeah. th this, like, it's not hard to show support, and yet you're failing at that. And I don't understand why, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too wacky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, no, I don't, I think I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that you had to go through that rush. Yeah, and I'm yeah. glad your stepdad stepped in. Your stepdad, oh, yeah. stepdad's go. What a homie. Stepdad, go. Yeah, what a homie, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also got some good news. What's up? My meme painting is done after six months. Hey, good yeah. on you, man. And I'll start taking the bids at one million dollars, please. So uh, no, no, I, <laughs> start I, your I bids. take it back. Elon Musk. Yeah, listen. Out for there, it. What rush? You think you're too good for us? You think you're too good for us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once I get this million dollars, I'm out. <laughs> You'll give us the friend discount? Come on. <laughs> we want to do for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got you. Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Reagan. But no, I got you, man. Um, if you're going to sell your meme painting, actually try to 
make it a big thing you can probably oh, I'm make it a video like announcement like yo I, yeah you can make it a huge video where it's just like hey i've got this amazing painting with every single meme you will never run out of memes with this painting okay yeah i'm, a, I'm gonna <laughs> mm-hmm. be like funny like a funny salesman guy for like a like a two minute ad Heck wear yeah. like a really oversized suit and everything like, you know yeah. what i mean like like a yeah. crappy green screen <laughs> infomercial that'd be so good That's yeah so good. i was thinking yeah nice i love it okay i think with <gasps> that we can wrap up this behemoth of a podcast Mm. Yeah, um, I think it was kind of. You know, it. I think it was kind yeah, of. Yeah, you know, fun. I think we can cut out all the parts with Reagan in it. I think that be. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have to agree. No, <laughs> Reagan, you can't accept that. No, yeah, get wrecked by yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, Nobody needs fight. to hear me say that I'm not no. as rich as Viacom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Reagan's as rich as Viacom, you guys. Don't, don't worry. No. <laughs> um, all right, not guys. As Thank you. I don't have a hundred dollar patron tier anymore. Aww. I know you, you lost your tier three subscribers, basically. You, you lost... <laughs> Emily, Emily, get into streaming. By the way, you you you'd get sick. Dude, anyway, yeah. Emily would get so many tier three subs. It would so not many. even be funny. Uh, <laughs> I just... I Emily, if you had a if you have a VTuber model, I'm I, so serious. I was co- okay. Listen, I was considering getting. I just I don't know who to ask or who to commission. Ask Wolfie, uh, ask and, Wolfie and Jordan. Yep, yep. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't. Ask yes. them where they got them. Well, because I don't, yeah. don't want to be like, hey, tell me where you get your stuff from. No, I, I asked yeah. them and they told me. Like they're they're willing to help you out. They're your friends, yeah. Emily. What the heck? Yeah, oh, I don't they're wanna, super I don't nice wanna... about it too. Okay, I'll yeah. ask. Yeah, they'll be like, Ugh, Emily asked about it. <laughs> like, Emily, I know you've been simping over Wolfie's one for a long it's so time. Cute! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. it's really cute. Right, so yeah. just do it. I think you would pull off, like blow up, like pop mm-hmm. off. Right, I I said blow up, and I was like, wait, blow up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, and I think you would really, really be successful on Twitch if you went that route. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All good. All right, and with that, we're gonna conclude the podcast. Thank you so much for listening, in, everybody. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. It is very long, um, but it, <laughs> it's full of good times. You know, you can hear yeah. a min- min- lot of arcs here. Um, thanks to patrons for supporting time. us. No, no, Reagan, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> uh, thank you all the patrons and sub- uh, channel members who listened into the episode. We appreciate you. you a lot. Thank you for your support. And I hope you all uh, stick around for the next few episodes. We've got some good guests lined up. Okay. Yeah. All good. All right. I'll catch every one of you later. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 All right. And logging off now. <laughs>